I've been searching in the dark, trusting every clue I've found. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner of these woods is hollow. I can't see.
it, don't let me walk at the edge of the sidewalk anymore because uh, they're afraid I'm going to step into the, the step. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey. Oh. Are, we, are Hello. we here now? Hello. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for mm -hmm. this end. I'm going to recap everything that we just said while we were muted. Um, Mia was over here after I gave you several warnings that we were going to go live. And then yeah. you, got, you forgot your dice, so you got up and you got dice. And then you sat down right there. And I was like, what are you doing? I said we were going to, and you just sat there. So I did. that's kind of funny. And then we were talking about uh, muscle memory because I was like, I learned, I, I remember that I could do this fucking thing I did when I was in 12 years old and dance. Is that the Shadow Clone Jutsu? I can do, <laughs> I can do the fucking Shadow Clone Jutsu, dude. Um, anyways, uh, thanks Very for joining us. I want to give a big shout out to our members who are supporting us here on the channel. Uh, you're a member, Colton. And, and everyone else. Yeah. I, uh, I think we should not call them members. I really don't. I think we should give them their own names. Really? Yep. All right, guys, well, give us you your best. Uh, a new name. No. Shafts is Emma good. Said Shafts. Shafts is good, yeah. <laughs> I guess if it's between Shafts and members, I'll take member. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. It's because member also means. Yes. Yeah. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> we have, we have so many members. Is that really what we want our. What, want our, the Arcane Arcades. No. Can, we, can we get more members just so Arcane Arcades <laughs> members are huge? Yeah. Yeah. Big PC. Big <laughs> yeah, Emma said, yeah, we'll just have such a big member now. Oh. Um, no, for real, though. Thank you for supporting just us. Just combine, um, like get Power uh, Rangers? There's a question. Be a huge member? <laughs> Fight off evil? I gotta, I gotta talk about members. <laughs> if you wanna join, you'll get a green name in chat. You'll get to use our emojis. You'll get uh, a badge. Uh, you'll also get behind the scenes stuff on our community posts. <laughs> you'll get to do an initiative meme if you want to. And you'll also get to uh, watch an extra hour of podcast and our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough that me, wow. Spencer, Jack, and Colton are doing every other week. Uh, we, I think I maybe said it was weekly, it's every other week because we don't have time. But thank you so much for supporting us anyways. Um, if you're a patron and you're like, why um, should I, we, huh? If you want to get more bang for your buck, support us on, on members, but you can always support us on both. So you don't I have to. You, you never, I don't want to yeah. obligate anybody. Take the $10 you know, you're us. spending over here. Just spin it over, over there. And so, Money so, am I correct though to say that if you are, because <laughs> if you're a member, because if you're a member, we shout out the names as well, right? Yeah. But you can't change the name because it's yeah. I'm not Google sure account. yet. I feel like some people did, so I don't know how it works. So if you're primarily here for the name, I guess if you're supporting on Patreon, you do get the funny ability to change your name for now, till we figure something out. Until we so, figure out how you guys can do it on. I don't know if that's worth. Ten dollars, but sometimes it is. But the, if you want the, the memes extra are content. very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if yeah. you want the extra content, all that stuff, join us on members. Being funny. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, just a new thing that we launched this week, and um, Craig is not here. Uh, no. Craig might be here later. We don't know, but it's just the three of us and our member. Yeah. Just so, the three of us. So. Yeah, appreciate you being here. Um, I, oh, also the link to Craig's bail is in the yeah, description. Yeah. Um, Don't so ask if you questions. Want to support that, um, that'd you be can't good. use the same bit you used about me like that. Is, I can't believe you know about that. That's funny. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> That's funny. Can, can I? Say? Can I also just say one one last sad sad thing? Yeah, go ahead. about the Zelda <clears throat> that's gonna be upcoming. Oh, oh. yeah. We lost the arfs to that episode. God, I don't know what happened. I had the wrong I'm recording so channel for me as Mike, and I oh. kind of fixed it. You can hear it. You're you're hearable, Hello. but but you, you sound like you're at the bottom of a well. Yeah. So um, well, that's going. Oh, on the you can change your YouTube yeah. handle twice in a two week period before it goes on cooldown. There you go. Well, there you go. Hopefully, the cooldown isn't very long though. Yeah. <laughs> you say is the cooldown like <laughs> a year? Days. What's the cooldown? Yeah. yeah. What'd you say, Emma? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick only, your favorite get, yeah. two streams. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious. Is my name green? Emma said you, can only, you gotta pick your two favorite streams, basically. Um, okay, uh, without further ado, let's... I feel like I had something else I wanted to announce. Oh, please don't donate today. I would really appreciate it. I we do, already I, have I, I a do, donate. We already have one. Are, do, do we already get to 50? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are at... I really fucking hate all of you. We're at 6041. Thanks, guys. Two okay. Oh, so Thank you. Well, I'm running the intro, and then we're getting into it. Oh, that's really interesting. Are you going to say oh right before I roll the intro? I am. Why? Well, please continue. Uh, now that we have members active, people can donate memberships, yep. which is yeah. really cool. They did that last night, and yeah. it's very, very cool. I saw that just now, and I was like, yeah. oh, that's, that's sweet. Yeah. awesome. Yeah, anyways. It, 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 uh, the uh,
I witness the brain ascended, tossed aside in pain and all alone. I refuse my burden of vision. Down, down, down until I'm defeated. Take my sword, a creed resolute. Discarded fate still alive and in the fight. Betray his judgment you try and refute. But I can't atone for what I know is right. I'll never beat this battle within me. I'd rather charge it to the night and face the heart. Sign my name on the dotted line. My redemption be damned. You're good, you can go back. <laughs> they were talking about you guys being our throbbing members. Yeah. <laughs> and Colton or, is or not dead. Bursting members. Bursting members. Bursting's good. What yeah. did Emma say? Leaking. Said leaking. No, leaking. I said, All right. I said oh, leaking. leaking members. All right. <laughs> Last we left off. On, uh, so this. you could sit right here, and we could all just torture Jacob. <laughs> no, please don't. Can you imagine <laughs> how awkward that would be to like role play with each other? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm like, so. <laughs> uh, last we left off on the sand. Um, why am I doing it? I, I gave myself three episode cooldown. Uh -oh. I'm done doing the recap. Uh oh. All right. Uh oh. Please don't pick me. me, 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 me. Um, what if I get I'm so sorry. Sorry, I don't know guys. the actual lyrics. It's you, man. Oh. What oh happened God. last time? What if I, <laughs> I say, please not? What do you mean, no. please not? You, you I don't have my notes. You just, I, I just, you, you just, you can speak Dune language. <laughs> you can recap the I see, I see. No, well, first of all, that that wasn't even Dune language. That's actually the Sardaukar. Uh just so you know. Sar Sardaukar. You'll learn when you watch Dune Part 1. I know. I know yeah. you're really going really gonna to like it. Uh, that's um, fine if you don't. Just to, uh, just to give you a little kickstart. Last episode yeah. started with you uh, right after we you guys were... beat those goblins. And yes. you were making your way to... Oh, that's no. Right. no we, we, the we fought the gnolls in Idle Glen. In Idle Glen. And, and you guys right. were still in Idle Glen. Right. And then mm -hmm. you traveled uh, towards uh, Songfall. Right. And then we wound up in that, like... Um, there was that like weird goblin that jumped out of the chest and that ran towards. Yeah. Was it Songfall that it yes. ran towards? So we're like, that must mean something. It was like um, oily or something like that. And we found out that people from Song Hall have been like captured and taken someplace else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Cadman also found a horse. Oh, they did. Cadman did find a horse. That was where the oily cool. And the horse was. Like a oh. knight. Like a knight's horse mm -hmm. from El mm -hmm. no. no. From Songfall. Was but that Songfall? They, the horse was from. Um, water deep or something? Like a water deep. It was a, a, water it was a yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's right. They are like Ampel, really, not El Trail. Yeah, it, it 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 it's 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 a Maserati basically. It's a fucking bougie ass horse. Yeah. Would you say it's a thoroughbred? Um, it's uh, you know it's it like it's a, maybe more like a higher end Camaro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm just on horse TikTok too, so oh, uh, if you yeah. said some things, I might oh, be able sorry. to Oh, sorry. I did do some horse research for Cadman. Really? Can you? Get, cool. I, I was thinking cars. I don't oh. know. I don't know fucking anything about cars, but I do. Uh. Weird, I do. I guess know a little bit more about horses. What did you say? <laughs> Thoroughbred. Yeah. So I don't know what that means. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. We'll yeah. just move past it. <laughs> You're right, though. We did come across that horse. Like the the owner of it had like been speared through, and it was like caught in the ground while mm -hmm. these goblins were trying to get to it. Yep, mm -hmm. and you threw your boomerang at one. Yeah, did. Yeah. Which was funny. It. Yeah, and Cadman uh, went and like rescued the horse and like talked to the horse and they kind of bonded and it was like yes, I would love to serve you or something like that or let me prove my worth. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. um, they then went, um, we realized that they had been captured, the people from Song of Paul had been captured or been taken to like this go was it a goblin encampment? It's like a goblin cage yeah. encampment, yeah. Which has been a restaurant, apparently. Yeah. Which I'm sure is fine. I'm sure it's not I'm like. I'm pretty sure they're serving people. Look, so. <laughs> until we eat it, I don't know for certain. <laughs> no. But we are pretty certain. We went. We went there, and uh, we tried, kind of talked our way into. You use some really cool, like fancy magic on them, to get us into it. Suggestion. Um. Yeah. 
And while we were in there, we discovered that there's like some weird cult thing going on with it. Um, mm-hmm. That these people are worshiping, or some of them are worshiping. I don't remember the name of it. All I can think of is the absolute. Yeah, playing that's Gate. same. That was yeah. my problem. It was very, it was very Baldur's Gate. Yeah, they ha- they have um, uh, the the name of the base, uh, the layer <coughs> really is called Geaverspug, Geaver's and Spug. they have um, some of them have been have like this mark that looks like an eye mm-hmm. that makes makes them they know they have like they know taste. So right. they they kind of use that as lordship over the other goblins to like assert dominance basically. Um, Anastasia kind of faked having one to mm-hmm. get in. You guys uh, were just kind of walking around. You ate meat to convince them, kind of yeah. what was going on, yeah, so, so that you were stuff. like you belonged. And they were like, "Okay." And we then met you met up a with hag, right? Not a hag, but you met up with a um, uh, a Balguru. No, a Balguru is a demon. Um, this is a this is a type of daemon that you guys kind of found out is uh, kind of like an uh, the, like a yugoloth. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a it's a it's a creature that. Well, the way that you see her is that she's a goblin that was like yeah. sucking the souls and killing and eating other goblins. Um, mm-hmm. Kai's was able to find out that she's a barghest, uh, which is this type of yugoloth that That's close. has to kill a bunch of souls and mm-hmm. then return to Gehenna, uh, which is a, a lower plane, and they'll That's be right. like rewarded for such a thing. So pr- they primarily like to go after goblins. Um, from my understanding, Gora in my Forgotten notes. Realms, because it's kind of easy and it, there's sort of a tradition behind it. Um, but they can eat and kill anybody. But right. this liked this Barg has decided to hang out with you guys and work with you because, well, you're both after the same goal. Kill a bunch of goblins, so long as she gets to eat them and she doesn't really care. Yeah. Um, that's And you guys went further in. Well, um, and then you uh, fought a bunch of goblins that were making food. Uh, and at the same time, you guys freed uh, one of their captives, who was a gith. Uh, a Gith Yankee uh, named Irisketh. Um and you guys talked to him. You found out that he's here because uh, he was separated from his crush, um, basically his people, uh, because he uh, stole a dragon egg and then got caught up by goblins. And now they have the egg, and he's trying to find it. Right. Um, you guys went further in looking for your ally, uh, your one of your uh, members of your squad, Ollie, who supposedly might be here. Irisketh says he, that he saw him. Mm-hmm. Um, you followed him down to a pit where you heard his voice, but it was coming out from a creature that was really creepy, called a Lua Crota. And uh, you guys fought that thing, killed it, found Ollie, found um, uh, a Goliath uh, like uh, uh, artificer that was down here as well, who made that shop, that like stone tower shop where you guys found those lightning things. Mm-hmm. Um, what was his I name? Also found a girl, Bronte. Uh, my, my notes were. Bronte. Uh, and uh, you also found uh, a young. Um, Callum girl who uh, was, uh, her family was uh, attacked by goblins on the road and she was brought here and they, she's the last one who survived. Um, Sahari, you had her mm-hmm. uh, and you, de- you all decided that it would be time to take a long rest. Um, yes, because the next place we're going to go is going to be very dangerous yeah. um, and this seems the safest place where they may not, they may not hunt for us. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that recap you got, from you're you. You're totally chill. Um, you, 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 you did great. Can I, can I admit uh, to something really I guess kind of embarrassing-ish. Sure. Um, so, Gith Crash. Um, the entire time, because I never did that in Baldur's Gate Three. The entire time you guys were talking about it, I thought you were saying Gith Crash. Mm. So it's a crash. Do you yeah. want to? I, I don't think Anastasia really knows what I, that is. It's fine. I don't. I don't need to know. I just. I'm just realizing mm-hmm. that I have a completely different idea of what that sure. section of the game is now because I've never done it and never seen it. No worries. I always thought you were saying Gith Crash, and I was like, oh, like a like a crash of like a. I see. That's interesting. Then, yeah. Um. So. <sighs> Ignore me. Can uh, Colton, if you want to, at, well, we'll get back to that. So you guys are currently down in the caves. Mm-hmm. Irisketh had told you. Um, him, uh, had told you that uh, he could keep watch um, mm-hmm. while you guys tried to rest. Uh, he goes off and does so. Kind of goes down like this hallway over uh, over on this corner here, which, um, sorry, I don't have up for you guys to see. There you go. Uh, kind of goes down that way um, and uh, kind of stealths his, himself forward uh, to prepare. Uh, mm-hmm. By the way, here's the art of Irisketh. Thank you, Sari. Looks amazing. Yes. That's that's the your your gith ally that you found. Mm-hmm. Um, you did leave out the most important thing. Oh, sorry. Which is we did find Ollie, and he gave me a gold star. And B. You, you, that is true. Gold star. He's a fucking cheap mm. um, My favorite. Um, but I did find. We did get. Yeah, all of donation. us. Donation. 
We did. Yes. All right. If you'd like me to read off the donations. Go for it. Quick. Um, Michael Fennerty uh, donated $10.41 and says, And so it is time to descend for the fourth time. By the way, Jacob, according to Marisha Ray, it's pronounced Lucrota, not Lua Crota. Oh, Lucrota. Well, I was close. Um, and then Ghostly Unicorn donated $50 and said, I hope all of you are having a great day, and I hope it stays great. That's so sweet. Thank and you. Henry Scorp also gifted five Arcane arcane memberships. Oh, well, thank, thank you so you. much. Yes, that's all for me. All right, uh, a chest appears, a portal, uh, whatever, it appears. Uh, Caius, you've, there's a letter. <clears throat> what does oh. it say? You good, Emma? Oh, it's doing that thing again. Thanks. Yeah, I paused the music, which was nice. What are you looking for? A pencil. This one? Yes, but there's no oh. one. I always steal Craig's, and then I put it back. His is in his box. Chat, do you guys know where a pencil is? There's a whole bunch in that thing over there. Watch I out. I have faith in you. Watch out, watch out, there watch out. There you go. <laughs> it's a dangerous thing maneuvering over in here. The, the, <clears throat> okay. Uh, you, you can keep going. I, I, I can um, So, uh, I don't remember who suggested it in the Discord, but uh, the item that you have received is, which has 68 responses, by the way. The next one down on the list has 18. So, oh, this wow. took almost all of the votes. That's so sweet. A personal and heartfelt letter from Jacob to the cast. Oh. If Jacob cries or laughs while reading it, all characters gain plus one max HP. Oh, that's game changing for Anastasia. It really <coughs> is. All right. So is this something that you? He wrote it. While this letter finds itself in a universe that will not be that will not understand its meaning, but its message will still find a way to those who hear it. I am surrounded by remarkable individuals who inspire me, challenge me, and have set me on a path so fulfilling that I would fight with every fiber of my being to never let it go. Mm. I went through high school with Tyler and Grace, who are my nerdy companions that put up with my inability to be a student and still shared obsessions with me. Not to mention Logan, whose ambition with starting a YouTube channel eventually worked out two or three channels later <laughs> and was also my best man at my wedding. Jordan was one of my teachers who defended me when I was at my lowest and became a good friend through games like this. I owe the origin of what I do here to Marshall, who introduced me to TTRPGs in the first place, who I also owe for encouraging me every step of the way. I was once intimidated by Jack when I met him and Albert, but the two of them pulled me from my anxiety by, you guessed it, talking about D&D. I could have never predicted his selflessness and passion and becoming one of my best friends. I remember my grandma giving my sister and I dolls to practice with so that I could hold my little sister in the hospital when she was born. I feel, oh, you fuckers. I feel proud that Emma has grown so much emotionally, mentally, and has also had my back since she could talk. Colton and I met in youth group, then college group, then lived together for years. He's my sense of reason. Oh, you sons of bitches! <laughs> it's okay, I'm crying too. He's my sense of reason, my friend who's always down for anything, an idiot, and the <laughs> older brother I never had. Not to mention Sari, his fiance, who has progressed so far and impressively with her art, but I can't imagine two better people who found each other in the right place at the right time. <clears throat> Mia and I have such a similar mind sometimes that she literally finishes my sentences all the time. It's also why creatively we never get along because we both <laughs> think the same. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to learn and grow more with my mental health with understanding my ADHD without her. Get it? There's no one else who knows how precisely I think who can accurately challenge me in a way that I understand surprises me with creativity, and who constantly strives to heal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know no one's sturdier, humbler, and protective than Craig. There was a time where we first met where he told me, if you ever wanted to hang out or talk shop, I'm always available, and I tentatively agreed, which leads to a hundred episodes later of a podcast where the three of us do that very thing. My life literally changed when I met Craig, and I'd probably be a nasty, selfish, arrogant person had I not learned so much from him. Craig astounds me. It's a primal motivation I feel to aspire to be in his footsteps. There is so much that he's given me that I will take to my grave. I met Spencer in high school, 
I was too afraid to talk to her. <laughs> one of our first interactions was when I couldn't open a water bottle for one of our friends and she asserted her dominance by taking the water bottle out of my hands and cracking it open. We started dating after the Halloween dance. I didn't think I'd spend the rest of my life with you. I didn't think you'd move out with me. I didn't think you'd encourage me to quit my job and to do YouTube, offering to find work for yourself if it didn't work out, just so I could follow my passions. Apartment after apartment, house after house, having too much money some months, 10 cents in our bank account on others. You've held me up and been a part of everything I do since then, all while being a smart, attentive, and incredible mother. You are a part of me. I cannot imagine myself without you. I will always be beside you, and I burn the world for you. These channels, these streams, these games, these moments that we share every weekend are so precious to me. When a mouse is placed in a forest, its pure vastness, the freedom, the endless possibility of what it can achieve means nothing to a wheel. You can place a mouse in a forest and next to a wheel, and it'll still decide to run on a wheel, regardless of the fact that the wheel gives it nothing. The wheel takes it nowhere. The wheel is small compared to the forest. When the world lies before it, the mouse chooses the wheel because it's fun. I could sprint, I could spend forever doing just this and be happy. You're so sweet. It gives you plus one of your hit points. I mean, we have to in stream. <laughs> yeah, we gotta. <laughs> Emotionally compromised. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Thank you all. Yeah. You're very sweet. It was good night. <laughs> you remember, we, we just had a talk recently where you like, the emotional bandwidth of some of the portal items. I was like, <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? Uh, <clears throat> I love you guys. Thanks so much. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I love you need a minute? D &D. You need a second? Yeah, me too. Me too. What? Can you need a second? Uh huh? So, Can you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once my heart rate is not at one second. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it'll come uh, down. Look at this cool so, so to, to, to transition <laughs> over, uh, thank you. Uh, so to transition I'm at 164 over, BPM. <laughs> <laughs> you normally are at like 90. My, my watch, <laughs> no, less than that. I think, I think well, my 65. watch is freaking out a little bit because it says I'm at 648. Which I don't think is a real <laughs> number. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I don't think it's a real number. I think number. you have a problem. Oh my well, God. it's a real number, but I don't think it's a... So question for you. Yeah, sure. Is that permanently? Yes, plus you one permanently to? have oh. plus one to your HP. Oh. Hey, do you know what that means? What? When you change the overlay earlier. <laughs> Okay. It's all off by one now. Great. Yeah. Well, I, I was like maybe a little confident that I wouldn't cry. And then yeah. I was like, I, I don't think I can fucking do this. Um, all right. So thanks, chat. Uh, Rolled HP 15, oh, max HP that. 9. Someone clipped that and sent it to everyone else who wasn't here. Yeah. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. All right. Um, do you guys still want to play? Yes. 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 All right. Great. Love that. Uh, anyways. I'll set a, we, we Emma, how are you doing over there? Are you good? I'll set a <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the Discord right now. Same. <laughs> Is it in spoilers? Or? I like how someone's like, good game, everyone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> great, great. I called you all here for this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, lit, I literally opened the portal today at about 3 p.m. and yeah. I opened it and I was like, uh, <laughs> I got it right. All right, all right, all right. Emma, you should also put that in the descend spoilers. Not to say that I didn't want to do it. No, it's I just was just more like, it's a oh, lot. Fuck. Yeah. Oh goodness. Um, did you put so it in descend? Where did you put that? Uh, put members, just so you in know, members. just so you know, Jacob, because I think it's probably. <laughs> I mean, you, I know you also. Uh, oh, we have cooldowns, huh? Yes, I I have already set a timer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, thanks, Pavy, for the hundred. What a wonderful group of people. Sorry, that's the only one I'm going to read because I just saw it and it was very sweet. All right. We are, but it's okay. Are we good? Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, are you, you good? just said you were good. <laughs> She's like, I lied, I lied. Honestly, fair. Because we can't go to break for a second if we want. I can also just talk about my blanket first. <laughs> I love the blanket. I love the blanket. It looks Thank really good. I'm really, really impressed by that. I, yeah. I just want to say, I'm not a big fan of yellow. Yeah. But I love yellow. yellow next to those colors. It it's looks a good beautiful. contrast color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why I'm not that great at color theory. Because I'm like, because I, I yeah. like to think that I am sometimes because like Photoshop. But like when I see that, I'm like, fuck, I'm bad at that. <laughs> see, I literally so cool. spent a half hour in the, the yarn aisle being like, this color next to the, how does this look? <laughs> This is gonna be okay. 
Ugh. What? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> um, y yes, that was an item. Caius technically gets that. <laughs> <laughs> What's YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> and then it burns oh. away. You're fine. You Turn one back on where we made it. And then he goes back to bed. No, <laughs> yeah, the, the entire letter. <laughs> well, I have to read it again. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like um, anyways, that. um, that's what happens. Um, you are now in uh, the cave with the girl and the gith and the oh, no, the gith went off. Ersgeth left. What? He's supposed to keep watch. He yeah, he's keeping watch over there. Oh, he just went to the corner. Okay. Yeah, he he sort of comes back. He, he lets you milk. know. He says, "I just scouted. It's and? it seems to be the only exit and entrance, except for the ceiling." Well, wonderful. As long as they don't decide that they're going to come and uh, slaughter the rest of the prisoners in the middle of the night, it sounds like we're safe then. Try to rest. Yes. I will. Honkshu. Good night. Honkshu. You're skith. I don't I'm kill me in my sleep. So hard tucks in the, the little girl. Okay. And maybe she, sees her like She's very tired. Yeah. And she does sort of go to sleep at this point and is like I think for the first time you, for the first, you know, little bit that you've seen her, um, she does look to feel slightly comforted as she sleeps. Yeah. Like she can sleep for the first time in a while okay. and feel safe. Um Anastasia. Yes. You find yourself oh, no. uh, alone in this cave, getting ready to sort of uh, uh, wind down um, and uh, prepare to sleep in this dark, dark place. Um, dark figuratively, it's not actually that dark, but um, you see Kaya sort of going off on his own. You two are the only ones awake. Oh. So the Gith, uh, Gith friend is... Your Gith off. is sort of off to the side. You two are in a sort of alone space. Sahar, if you want to peep in on this, you can try, but for the sake of it, you two are effectively alone. No, I'm, gotcha. I'm big sleeping. Okay, you're big sleeping. I think snore? the only reason she'll wake up is if the little girl wakes up. Mm -hmm. I think like that's her... Mm -hmm. Does trigger. Sahar snore? Probably, but it's like real small. Like, real small? Okay, soft. Soft ones. <clears throat> um, she would look over, kind of dig in a bag a little bit, pull out the Witch Bolt spell scroll, mm -hmm. and then kind of walk over towards the direction that Caius, Caius think He's went. eating his ration. Talking to Remy. <sighs> ah, yes. Are you talking to Infernal or? Yeah, an Infernal. Yeah. And he's like, Mrag No, I think he's talking to him in Weasel. Oh. <laughs> Right, you're talking to the weasel. <laughs> Sorry. I speak infernal too, so. Oh. Uh, well, he's speaking weasel. What's no, the last thing you say? Um, how do you keep your coat so clean? And then Anastasia walks up. Hello. She'll just kind of sit next. Cause you're sitting, right? Yeah. She'll sit next to. Him, look down. Remy's there. The weasel is. Ah, oh, the weasel. Right. It's like. It's <sighs> Hello. <clears throat> it like goes into your bag. Don't eat that. Then, um, kind of mindlessly, she's gonna open the scroll. Jacob, while this conversation is happening, I would mm -hmm. like to take an hour. Um, I would like to take an hour, and I am going to inscribe uh, witch bolt. I have the gold. Oh. I have the scroll. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> All right, witch bolt. You have fifty gold pieces. Uh, yeah, I have right. like three hundred. Cool. Oh, okay. so yeah. You have witch bolt added to your spell list. Sweet. Um, cool. She's gonna open it. Go. So, you guys grilled me on the gifts. What about you? Gifts? Gifts? Yes. I found a letter earlier and then it disintegrated in my hands. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, I was like halfway done reading it and it went psh. Did it mention anything? Uh, <coughs> YouTube. Okay. Um, some names I didn't know. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Nothing about us. Nothing important. Good. Good. I feel like it wasn't for me to read. Good. Strange. Um. Normally, uh, I'm able to be wondering about this, but you have 
that little weasel. Do you want him gone? It's fitting, honestly. Um, it might be for the best for the questions I'm going to ask. Hey, Remy, go back to our friend. <clears throat> watch as he uh, scrolls out, looks at you, and then literally Gives you watch as his form just melts into like water and then <laughs> this, it, it turns into steam as that slight scent of brimstone. Strange. Strange what? Nothing. Just that, that he listens to me? Way of melting away. Yes. And yes, actually, that he listens to me. It is very strange. He was sent by a mutual friend. Right. The one giving you your gifts. Yes. Not the portal. Not gifts. the portal, no. Yes. Mutual friend. Do you consider them a friend? Not Remy, the... Um... Well... Hmm. How can I say this without giving away too much? Um, ye sure. Friend. Sure. For the time being. Hmm. If... I mean... I think eventually I won't see him as a friend. Uh, <clears throat> I see enemies to friends. Uh, no, just unwitting, un unwitting not, allies. Not enemies to friends. Just I didn't know who he was, and now he is my friend. Ah, uh, you gotta be careful for the ones you don't know. Yeah, I don't don't know that I had much of a choice. Kind of just showed up. That's fair. That's fair. Wrong place, right time. You ever think about getting out of it somehow? I don't know that that's possible. From what I've been told, it's quite impossible. She kind of looks around at the at the cave, and and as the scroll, I almost imagine because she doesn't her. her she doesn't have like a spell book, right? Um, the magic kind of tends to come from the tattoos. Um, I really have a lot of characters that do this. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. But um, I almost imagine that uh, it doesn't like add a tattoo or anything. It's just like the text from the scroll. Um, it's almost like absorbed into you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's almost like absorbed in. So as it's doing that, she looks at it and watches as the magic kind of like flows in. And she goes, yes, with the we visit is now, I don't know that it would be possible. Strange. This whole place is strange. You speak like you were alive before? Mm. Is anyone. I don't know. It's been a long time. I know. You know? Yes. I'm quite well read. On? Um. I guess the weave. Mm. It's an interesting thing. Some old colleagues were interested in it. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd catch that. That's another portal. But we can get to it in a moment. You're good. Were they? Yes. Have you heard of the Arcane Brotherhood? I'm not. Well, roll a history check with disadvantage. Uh. <laughs> disadvantage. Ooh, a 16 and a 17. Oh. oh. Uh, 19? Um, yeah, you, you have heard of the Arcane Brotherhood. Um, they're, they're in... How much do I need to tell Colton? Um, well, I guess I'll do it for everybody. They're an organization of um, magic users, primarily wizards, uh, far north of the Sword Coast, primarily okay. based out of Luskin, who attempt to acquire ancient magical relics and uh, any, really anything that could suit... Uh, uh, that of a magic aspiring wizard of gotcha. some kind. Um, primarily, their their goals are to to collect and use for themselves, gotcha. not really to right. for any other right. purpose. Oh, the collectors of the ancient. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought I might seek them out myself at some point. But Do you enjoy the cold? Not particularly. Uh, she looks down at how she's dressed. Yeah, you wouldn't do well. Wonderful. Yes, um, I had spoken with uh, Arlen about joining up here first, and finding my bearings. Uh, I did not expect to be spending nights in a cave circled by goblins and gnolls. 
Don't go north, then. It's just the same. Is that everywhere here? Well, I've only ever really lived in the north. Luskin, Icewind Dale. Mm. Cold. Fire Shear. Wonderful. And then I came here for a uh, vacation of sorts, and it's uh, mostly the same. Ah. Wonderful. I will uh, take that as a yes. Then. Um, do you want out? If it were possible. If you could grasp it. Your um, freedom. Well, my freedom is not... Not my own. Yes, I, I understand that. Not just my own. There's more to my uh, deal than just my own freedom. Mm-hmm. I wasn't aware that could happen. No. <sighs> Some of us are smarter than others when making deals. I suppose. Oh, if only things had gone how they were supposed to. Portal (laughs) opens, and um, you both feel, I think, actually, Caius, you don't really feel this. You you have this sense, you have this this feeling, Anastasia, as you sort of are focusing on your magic with adding Witch Bolt, um, talking to Caius, there's this, you're you're sort of like in tune with it. It's at Mm -hmm. the front of your mind. And when the portal opens, you feel... Um, and as this item drops into your hands, you feel um, something. You feel a. You can't quite place it. There's, there's. You're, you're gaining some sort of connection to it in this fleeting moment as it opens. Do you want to reach out to it? Oh. Nothing gained by doing nothing. Well, our con. Mm. Sorry, actually, make a make a make a check with your uh, your spell attack modifier. Okay. You flipping your coin for advantage. Mm-hmm. Your cool beetle and Grimm's uh, well be on the witch well be on the witch like completion coin. Yeah, I'm really glad I did too. That's a one and a fifteen. Uh, mm. Dirty twenty. Chaos. Pure. Through your own magic there's that sense of conjuration that that ability for you to um, tr- uh, uh, like move through space and time there's like there's that connection and then there's the friction in between and within that there is pure chaos and it's gone that's what you feel I felt that before it feels familiar to you but you you can't sense why. Okay. In your hands is a, uh, it's a necklace. Can you roll a d6? This is how many beads are on the necklace. There's no way this is a necklace of fireballs. Um, three. So there are six beads hanging from this necklace. Okay. Uh, this is from our Discord, so uh, I really need to write down who writes these. I have not done that, so I will in the future, but thank you so much. Uh, this is a necklace of environments. It has six beads hanging from it. You can use an action to detach a bead and throw it up to 60 feet away. It creates a 10-foot surface of your choice. Mm. Acid, fire, ice, water, or poison. So the surfaces that we've been playing with in the mm. system. Um, that's all it does. It, crea- it's a, it creates a surface on the ground. That's and you have six cool. of them. Um. And it's 10 foot? Yes. Also, I'm pretty sure we hit, did we hit 250? Yes, so um, um, Azarian 105 donated 99.99 and says thank you guys for being the people that you are. Thank you. And then um, Pavi, who is also a, a member, donated a uh, hundred dollars and said, uh, "Wonderful one, what a wonderful group of people." Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Um, so with that, uh, because it's 250, we, we will get to the other items soon. And that's two out of five. But uh, also, there's a treasure chest. Yeah. So uh, then uh, you're in the middle of this conversation. Um, 
the portal sort of opens. It's timely to you, just how it appears. And then another one opens in front of you, and a treasure chest nearly crushes you, Caius. And you just move out of the way as it's sticking into the ground. Christ. Well, um, <laughs> I suppose I. So, Har, you wake up <laughs> and you hear it, and Irisketh also comes over and checks. It's just the thing that's been happening. It's in the box. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't punch Ho- anyone. Hopefully, it's not a goblin. Is he? All right. Um, oh this is a treasure chest, so uh, this so this, ha- this is random. Um, it might be a goblin. <laughs> My favorite things that somebody said, there was a comment on the first episode that says Goblin the four the treasure minutes. chests at the beginning of episode one was like the the DLC that you guys paid for at the <laughs> beginning of the game. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, it reminds me of Amiibos. <laughs> yeah, the in Breath of the Wild, yeah. that's kind of the idea. Um, can you go ahead, Spencer, and roll uh, 2d6? One second. 2d6. We'll do this one and this one. Um, add them together? Um, no, just give me, just give me One is a six and one is a four. And then 2d20. Um, that's two fourteens. Two fourteen. All right. Uh, inside the treasure chest is 76 gold pieces. Uh, and the first Unbroke. thing that you find within it is uh, you get a six and a fourteen. That is the uh, some special items. Uh, you find um, a bottle. A bottle. It's a bottle. It's maybe about this big. It's a little larger than a potion bottle. It's got a very round sort of base, um, and with yeah, it's corked on the top. Uh-huh. Um, uh, sorry, cork. It has a glass stopper, not a cork. Uh-huh. Uh, and within, it's like gray and black. Um, it, it it's not a liquid. Um, the bottle's very light. It's oh, d- it's as it, if it was empty. Is it an ever smoking bottle? It is, but uh, I Kais, don't know that. Kai's can roll an Arcana check to try to identify it. Oh boy, he wanted to hang out with wizards, but man, is he dumb. Um, <laughs> ten. Unfortunately, Kai's does not know what it is. Okay. Uh, but for you, Spencer, it is an ever smoking bottle. Um, and then the other thing you find is I'm going to take that off our list too. Ever smoking bottle acquired. Um, acquired. Yeah, acquired. Uh, is four. Four is a potion and a scroll. Um, you also find a potion of heroism. Oh. And um, one sec. Hmm. Oh, come on. No. There we go. Um, uh, Mia, give me a random number one through five. Uh, no. I was going to say 420. 420? <laughs> I mean, I can push this button <laughs> four. I, I just need to generate scroll yeah. a bunch of times. I can push it 420 no, times if you want. Why don't you push it three? One, two, three. It is a, it is a spell scroll. Oh. Sorry, I was going to say what it was, but you don't know what it is. Oh. You can roll an arcana check to try to identify it if you'd like. Um... Uh, Sixteen. Uh, it was uh, so normally what I what I do with identifying spell scrolls the way that I like to rule it is that if it's on your spell list, um, you it's ten plus the level. Mm-hmm. But if it's not in your spell list, there's a plus five. This one is on your spell list. You recognize this is a scroll of ray of enfeeblement. Ray of enfeeblement. <laughs> <laughs> and Anastasia's grabbing hands. <laughs> like, Anastasia would not this? do it like that. How would she do it? Yeah, how, would, how would Anastasia right. have grabby hands? She wouldn't. She just wouldn't do it? She, no. she would just look at it? She's just like... Yeah, she would just stare. St- She'd just be like, side eye. She's far too refined for that. Yeah. It's the second emoji with the blood on her. The one yeah. where she's like... <laughs> 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 that. With like the, with the, the red eyes. The red eyes. <laughs> target scroll acquired. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that the chest? Uh, that is the chest. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for your donation. Do you know what the scroll? Do you know what this bottle does? Roll our gun. Thirteen. Uh, yeah, it's an ever-smoking bottle. Um, you open that, it will fill the entire room with smoke. Oh, this actually might be useful. Um, ever-smoking bottle. Uh, you see how it has like smoke inside, and it doesn't run out. Do you oh. open it? Interesting. Something I like to do with my magic items is make them extremely difficult to break. Uh, I, I am a believer in like, 
Lord of the Rings. You can't you can't break a magic item unless you destroy it in the fires that was created. There are some that are exceptions. An ever smoking bottle is one. Gotcha. You can't just fucking break that bottle and it's gone forever. Gotcha. Um, so smoke leaks from the lead stoppered mouth. It's a lead stopper. Damn it! My knowledge failed me. Of this uh, of this uh, bottle, which weighs one pound. When you use an action to remove the stopper, you really have to unscrew it. It takes six seconds. Uh, a cloud of thick smoke pours out in a 60-foot radius from the bottle. The cloud's area is heavily obscured. Each minute, the bottle remains open within the cloud and increases by 10 feet and reaches a, a maximum radius of 120-foot radius, which is huge. Yeah. Um, the cloud persists so long as the bottle is open. Closing the bottle requires you to, to speak the command word as an action. Um, once, the, uh, once the bottle is closed, the cloud disperses after 10 minutes, and a wind can blow it away. <laughs> yeah. That's how, that's how we'll do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One time gust of wind is useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, these should do have a time of showing up. I guess that's our the command word. done. The command word is patet. <coughs> patet. Does that have a meaning? In a, in roll Arcana. A, oh, does it in one of the languages? We're making a lot speak? of Arcana rolls today. <laughs> is it in one of the languages I speak? Common, Infernal, Primordial? Still no, it is not in any of the languages that you All speak. Right. Uh, 19. Is, um, it, is it GIF? Yeah, it's. it's, it's there's this. Um, in the Forgotten Realms, I think it's fun that, like, Latin, which is, is like. The uh, is like the spell vocal components. Mm -hmm. um, I love the idea that it was like an, an ancient language that people, when they were inventing magic, just came up with, um, and they were just saying words. So there was a point in time in the history where they were just saying fire when they were casting their spells, but it's fire. but it's just remained, and the vocal components have remained as well. So it's this ancient dead language that you know is like the components from the like spells. Open or it means start. clear. Clear. Yeah. That's funny. These things sure do have a time of showing up. Yeah. She turns and sees people going. Why are you guys awake? Oh, I guess that's our conversation <laughs> done. Hello, uh, Sahar. Why are you guys awake? We were talking about uh, girl things. <laughs> she not you were asleep. She not even wants to talk to. <laughs> She's just like, I mean, I hate, to, but I. What you kind can, of excuse is that? You can wake me up any time. I'll make Sorry, you tea. I only have sisters. I know a lot of girl things. Uh, I'll bake you scones. I'll wrap you up in like a warm, fuzzy blanket. I'm really good at, at girl yeah. talk. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep now. Do you want me to tuck you in? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> so, do you think you got any sleep? Uh, do you think you fell asleep a little bit? Yeah, I think she fell asleep a little. She probably was not fast to fall asleep. Oh, both of you roll perception checks. Okay. Me? Now you. Sorry, you two roll perception oh. checks. I oh. apologize. I did not specify. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, you said it was roll perception. Yeah. Uh, perception? I'm proficient in that, which oh. means it's an 18. Cadman's asleep. Oh, okay. good. She's Big snoring? Sleep. Um, yeah, does Cadman Like sleep? heavy sleep? I don't know. Probably not. Can you imagine if she did? She's I feel like small. Adam would hit her. Yeah. <laughs> she had to learn not to do she it. Adam probably arm? fixed it. Adam was like, no longer. <laughs> is, she her, is she in her arm? <laughs> she got her tonsils no. sticking out. <laughs> 18. Uh, 21. Emma, unplug the keyboard. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Emma, the there should the be the wireless. Um, bum, the mouse bum, bum. will still connect. <sighs> oh. All right. I'm sorry. It's just doing that thing again. All right. Um, okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, my God. You both noticed that Sahar, the, like, you know how she got all shrunken yeah, and, like, shrilled. thin? It's lessened. Her face looks a little fuller. Her, her. You don't see ever all of the her. The, her veins and her hands aren't bulging. Mm. They've like they, it's. It's not a hundred percent, but there's a little bit that's come back. Yeah. Well, whatever disease you got from those things we fought seems to be lessening. So I'm not contagious. It's no, not you're like fine. Just not all diseases are. Yeah, your face is is it's looking better. better. Yeah. It's okay, like, so maybe get some more sleep. Maybe by the time we hit Baldur's Gate again, I'll yeah, be you'll be you'll be good. Great. You won't have to explain anything to your wife. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And then I won't have to explain anything to your wife, and we'll all be good. Yes, I, I I'm, sure that, I'm sure that the people that you guys have in Baldur's Gate are just going to be fine with, you know, us returning with three people. I don't Five. have it. I don't have anyone in Baldur's Gate. You're well, the, well, uh, she she knows my wife. My wife knows the people. You you and your family. Yeah. 
And uh, I think Do they you're... live up where it's uh... cold? Yeah. Yes. Okay. They live in Care Denival, in the Icewind Dale. Mm. My understanding is not not for very long. No. Mm -hmm. no. Uh, roll history. Okay. With disadvantage. Four twenty. <laughs> the, the, uh, nine. Nine? Nope. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Ah, yes, of course, the ice wind Mm-hmm. I assume it's called that because it's icy and windy. Yeah, and there's a guy named Dale. Ah. Yeah, but only one. Only it, one. It was named after him. Yeah. yeah it's a, like a rule you can't name anyone Dale. And Baldur's Gate was probably named after Baldur. Yes, it was. Well, actually it was Ball. And then his last name was Durr. Yeah. <laughs> and over the time, kind of like how you had like Tear Step or yeah. Tear Step. Same Baldur's. thing happened. Mm, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wonderful. The Dugan. Well. Oh. And yeah. his whole... And his hole. <laughs> That's not a real Dugan's place. Dugan's a, a sacred more. figure it in the Icewind Dale. <laughs> <laughs> He's a symbol Good. of family. Gan? Oh, you're right. Gan's hole? Yeah. Oh, do? And then he became Gan. Yeah, no, no, he, he was Gan. Oh, do? Do Gan's hole. Do Gan's hole. <laughs> God, that took you Give him a mic. God damn it. You need to so plug that funny. mic on my desk into the fucking yeah. thing. God. Emma said, Emma she got just, you in real time. Do, do Gan's hole. All right. Uh, yeah, that was that yeah. was funny. My, um, my sister's going to visit soon, though. Oh, well, oh yeah, like, there you go. You hear, uh, like, <laughs> and you hear from, like, the hole above. Um, there are, uh, uh, there's, like, goblins speaking. Is that funny, Emma? The way the goblins are, like, <laughs> What is, he, what, what, is he, uh, what is he saying? Um, you speak goblin? He's basically, there, you, what's your guys' past perceptions? 13. 12. Oh, mine's, mine's decent, because I'm a, I'm a monk, so you mm -hmm. know I have that wisdom and, and key oh, points now. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah. It's a 15. Get his languages, guys. Okay, you can, not you can all hear them, um, and you watch his ear sketch sort of gets closer, and you can hear them, they're, they're searching. They're like, where are they? Find them. You can maybe tell that there's like five or six. Like, one peers over the hole. Erisketh looks at you guys, and he kind of like tells you kind of yeah. kind of like push back. Everybody roll stealth. Did did we get a long rest? Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. This is the beginning of the long rest. Sixteen for a flat sixteen. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. I feel like I should probably. I could just do a, do a little of this. One of those. Not great, but at least it's a, a 10. A 10? Yep. Okay. That's better than um, what it was. Uh, Iriskath rolled a 1. Um, oh, fucking Iriskath. The goblin looks down. He has like a hood and like a like a mask. And he's and uh, Sahar, you're holding still. Yeah. He kind of sees you, Sahar. And then he kind of looks over. And then before he's able to do anything, Iriskath... Um, kind of holds out his hand and then pulls uh, like a fist inwards and you watch as the goblin, um, his eye, he's yeah! and uh, uh, blood just, and yeah. just this dark uh, uh, liquid just spill from his nose um, as his, the front of like his head like concaves a bit and he falls into the hole. Can I, as he, if, he, mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. he's gonna fall in, can I minor conjuration to make like a big pillow where he's gonna fall so it doesn't make a lot of noise? <laughs> yeah, big <laughs> pillow. He, he just, <laughs> Rolls off to the side. Irisketh looks over, and he he uh, goes over and slides the goblin off to the side, and then pulls himself back. The other ones sort of like make a pass, and then they leave. Well, good job. Sleep near the walls. I I feel like probably what happened is that Sahar had like a faint glow around her too, because she like just was not concentrating on holding it in. <laughs> So like she was kind of emanating a little, and then she's like, What's, "I think there's a gith right there, the, and uh, a glowing woman." woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Maybe, oh, maybe for the best for us to split our shifts where there's two of us awake at a time. I agree. I mean, I'm awake now. I'm not. Good night. Wonderful, uh, you and the gith. Sounds uh, great. Okay. Um. I don't want to just call him again. Your passive perception is 15. Um, uh -huh. you, you're keeping an eye out. Yeah. It is... This is rough. 
it is a lot of you listening for sounds yep. and it's hard to tell how much time is passing because you're in a cave. Yeah. And so um, do you think Sahar has something she's doing to like pass the time? Or do you think she's just sitting there agonizingly waiting? Yeah, to be honest, she probably does do something with her hands just yeah. to kind of pass time. Maybe maybe needlework, yeah. you know? Um, so, like, embroidery. Mm. Um, and she's probably, like, working on embroidering a pair of, like, Immolation's pants. I love that. That I've, like, worn through in parts. Mm -hmm. So she's, like, covering the holes and making them, like, pretty. That's great. Yeah. But uh, she's probably, like, resisting the urge to chat to the guests. <laughs> Because, like, that's her yeah. mode of operation at all times. is like, trying to make people comfortable, yeah. too. And she's like... He is... He does nothing. He just sits there watching that hole the entire time, occasionally getting up, moving around, and then going back. Um, this is almost routine for him. This is something that he's done a, uh, uh, a lot. But there's still... A, a whatever sort of... Um, presence he's trying to push forward there's still this fragile sort of mortal underneath uh, that hardened gith yankee plate um, you can tell that he's tired yeah. you can tell that there's a point where he does get drowsy and then he sort of like he sits and it, and it gets like harder every time that he does yeah. as he continues to look around um, as he uh, continues to discipline himself like through the night um, probably at, it, some, at some point she's trying to look at him and she goes I know we said we keep two, but why don't you just go say, I got this. Quiet. I oh. hear you. Is it, why? Because you're going to fall asleep where you're standing. King Yank, do you have no discipline? I could see the same. Uh, me, 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 me. It's written all over your face. She takes a little blanket and puts it over her shoulder. <laughs> He goes, she just sits you, down. you put it, <laughs> and you watch as he, like, and he throws it off, and he says, enough of these distractions. She picks it up, puts it on herself. He's watching. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's long because you constantly are hearing goblins. Yeah. And, yeah. A ca like, they don't really check the hole again. They don't see, they seem to be like, no, we've checked that already. It's they've, good. They've put it out of their mind. So you just keep hearing them move back and forth. And occasionally there's times where you can hear chanting, um, like this echoing reverb uh, of chanting down in a, in a distant hall um, that eventually goes away. Can't make out anything that's going on. Irisketh, there's, there's a point in time, there's like an hour where he's like watching it and then he sort of comes back and he's like, I can't see anything um, mm -hmm. without getting too close. Um, you can hear, uh, but, but it's relatively quiet like throughout the, the time that you're here. Um, until eventually you start feeling exhausted and you can tell that you're going into that next stage where you had your, you had a second wind and then a third wind and now it's like, I, I am going to fall asleep yeah. um, if, 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 I, if I don't now. Luckily, who's doing the next watch? Anastasia and Kais, you both uh, uh, wake up, but not before I go to the two of you. Give me just a moment. If you wanted to, you could have also given a, a, a portal item. To I can. Uh, oh. Timer went up already? Yes. Great. You were just describing things. That Wonderful. Um, yeah. And just before, as you're, you don't even see it. Yeah. You're like, there's a part where you doze off and you wake up and there's something in front of you. Oh. Um, yeah, it's a, you see. That's probably, probably your cue that you need to go. Oh sleep. my yes, God. Like, oh, it's time to sleep. You see uh -huh. a staff. And it kind of like you 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 see it roll. Yeah. So you know it came from the portal. Like you just missed when it appeared, and it rolls towards you. Um, it's it's this fine sort of uh, 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 looking wood. Yeah. Uh, it's very well crafted. I mean, you've seen quarter staffs. Um, uh, you know how to use a quarter staff. You've seen your wife use a quarter staff. Yeah. You taught your wife how to use a quarter staff. Um, this is a this is a this is a fine quarter staff. This is probably fetches a uh -huh. couple hundred gold. Um, the varnish on it's very nice. Um, the build, it, yeah. has, uh, it has like these rings in the middle of it that um, you, at first you think is metal, but it's, yeah. it's almost like this uh, carved wood onto the inside of it. And there's like this, uh, there's these carvings that run along the side of it. It's difficult to tell like its origin, but um, uh, 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 it's, it's very nice looking. Oh. You pick it up. Okay. You pick it up. So just for you, this is a plus one quarter staff. Yeah. And as soon as you pick it up and turn it, it goes. Iris Geth runs over and he's like, Shh. What? 
<laughs> grabs it from you. He's like, what are you doing? Does it Yuri <laughs> to you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I think it's just the. I'll, I'll just keep that very still. I, I'm a, I'm a monk. Oh yeah, yeah. You hold it extremely still. So and then like. <laughs> he well, backs up. Emulation might like that. She <laughs> 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 sets it down next to her bed. Cool. It's <laughs> a plus one quarter staff that makes the grown tube sound when rotated. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, so sweet. All right. Um, I'm just imagining a lightsaber battle with that now. <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> uh, All right. I don't know. I, you know, I always get a little nervous when the when the watch when the Emma, night the watch keyboard changes. is acting yeah. up. When the night watch changes, and then Jacob goes. Before I get to you two. I need to do something, something real quick. Else, and I'm yeah. like, what is going to happen to us? He's checking where the watch is. Yeah. Anastasia. Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, you find yourself oh, in a cage. Yeah. Um, basalt stone surrounding you. Infernal iron in front. There's no entrance or exit to this cage. There are chains holding you against a wall. You find yourself standing upwards, held outwards at your arms and your legs, at your mouth. You see on the other side of the cage, where the bars are, there's another person. They aren't chained like you. They desperately grab at the edge of the bars, sort of looking, pushing their head up against. Middle-aged man, half-elf, black hair, glasses. He looks, you don't recognize him. He looks to the left. He notices you. And he sort of backs up, he's afraid. And then you watch as, um, as he steps back and he looks behind to someone that you cannot see. He looks to a wall. He speaks words, but they're incoherent to you. The only thing you do make out at the end of it, he says, says fine, I agree. Another searing mark burns into your arm, carving up the side of your flesh. You would think you'd get used to the pain, but still, every time it sears into you, to the bone, to your very being, as every aspect of this text is scrawled into you. As he watches, he begins to sweat until eventually it stops. You sort of pull yourself forward out of breath, sweat dripping from the front of your head, and you look up at him. Some of them have the courage to say something. Some of them feel remorse. And they apologize profusely to you as if it can do something about the choice that they just made. But whoever this is, they, he just looks at you. Afraid. That's new. And you wake up. Caius, mm -hmm. um, uh, you are um, sitting in a garden. Uh, you're oh. in the upper city. Uh, you, um, uh, everything's going great. You're uh, mm -hmm. eating breakfast. Um, you've been treated to a to a lunch, um, and you're looking out. You can see uh, uh, the lower city below you. Um, all of Baldur's Gate in its splendor, um, and uh, you, you're you going to have a pretty good work day today. Um, <laughs> you're going to go sell off some hides. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, You're slowly uh, working your way into um, fi uh, uh, finally getting enough money to get a place for yourself. 
Um, and then pulling up the chair in front of you is um, is Rain. Hmm. A tiefling woman who, uh, you know what? I have art for and I'm gonna go get really fast. So you oh. know what? Uh, why don't you guys uh, fill the gap of void time for me because I didn't get this ready. Ah! <sighs> Tarlet puts the, the core staff down very carefully and then rolls over her blanket. <laughs> Back to sleep. Hong Shu, he, me, 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 me. Hong Shu, me, me, me. Dreams of her wife. That's but like a, like a PG dream, yeah. guys, what were you thinking? Like, oh, just laying my wife, having a good time. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, she's so gardening. Is... gardening. Dream. 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 Yeah, yeah, dream. yeah. You know, a, like a wholesome dream. What yeah. the Twitch stream? <laughs> No. You no. said wholesome he's, right before I said he's that. Not wholesome. No, I know. I, I was making the joke, and then you said wholesome, and then I said the Twitch stream, and I was like, ah, uh, you said that right, right in time to ruin. Yeah. What's it? Yeah, what's maybe, song? maybe, maybe not no. wholesome. Maybe very not wholesome. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to remember his what? song. What's this really... little thing you have? This, who's this friend? <laughs> this friend um, is is a little little friend that apparently HR gave people. And they're oh. just like little jelly individuals. It's a little unicorn, uh -huh. but it rolled around the bottom of my car, so it's a little dirty. Ah, so yeah. I feel oh bad no. about handing it to people, but it's probably the best texture. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm curious. Now. Okay. It feels like. Uh -huh. It's like. This is almost, gonna sound really weird. Almost like sticky hand. Like the like sticky a, like hands. Like a sticky hand, but also kind of almost like, like a gummy bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a. Like, like a, a sticky soft, hand gummy bear. Like a soft gummy bear. Like it's been bear. out in the car for a little bit. Uh, no, Warm. but like a soft gummy bear because mm -hmm. like yeah. you can get stale gummy bears that are terrible. No, absolutely. That's what I mean. Like a gummy bear that's uh, been out in the car for a little bit. It's heated it up warm. and it's like yeah, just, soft just and perfect. squishy. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost like, okay, actually better yet, it's like a marshmallow. Oh. Yeah. Right as you're, you're getting oh, to ready yeah. to turn into taffy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever done that. but what? Oh. You can like break up a marshmallow and you like keep going like this with it and it turns mm -hmm. into like taffy basically. Is that like salt water taffy? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just imagine they fish it out of the sea on Yeah, they just fish it salt out of water. the sea. Right? I bet you that's how they do it in Stardew Valley. Yeah, they just you fish it up. Yeah. 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 That's why the game is so hard with fishing. Yeah. It's, oh, it's a rare, why? it's a rare item. The fishing yeah. is so much fun. It is. It's the best part. I heard it's uh, rage inducing for some people. Get good. So <laughs> I, 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 my, my, uh, my guess is that Stardew Valley is probably in your top three. This Stardew, Stardew Valley, Baldur's Gate. God, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate that. I was I Baldur's, Baldur's Gate wasn't in my top three. Did not have that ready, Rest but now I do. So we're good now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's uh, let's 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 jump back into this. So okay. you're having a you're having a great time. You uh uh you're you're you know you're about to have a great day today. A little breakfast. Uh, Kaya, so you're having breakfast. There's a having a burrito. Know, yeah, it's a breakfast burrito right in front of you, um, oh, and then you know sitting down in front of you is is Rain. You were gonna have a meeting with her today. Oh. Um, thanks so much to uh, uh, Mel's for this art. Um, I'll post it in the Discord with uh, credits as well if I can remember which one it is. Emma, did that work? Yeah. All right, that's her. She's a tiefling woman. She has. Um, She's gonna be hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like be to, married again. Yeah, she has. Uh, She's sort of uh, like very sort of pinkish uh, uh, pale skin, um, and her horns sort of curl up into uh, this like deep sort of crimson red. She's black hair. She has these fiery orange eyes, um, and uh, she sits across from the other table from you. And uh, uh, oh, she true? says, "Well, uh, they didn't really have what I wanted, so I guess I will um, go down to the lower city and find some fish. Hope that's good." It is. You really don't want a burrito? I'm fine. You want fish instead of this burrito? Let's <laughs> not focus on this. Um, you're planning on leaving the city? Yeah. I got work to do. Why? What kind of work? Well, I hunt things for Wilhelm. And sell them to right, Wilhelm. Right, yeah. This so that I can not live in a barn. Of course. <laughs> this uh, excursion with the flaming fist... Right, You're Wilhelm's dead. And then suddenly, as, as, you, as you begin to realize this, everything around you begins to crumble. The sea isn't that blue. The ground underneath you, you've never been in the upper city. 
except for once, but not like this. Mm. And the food in your mouth isn't real, and none of this is really real, and you slowly start to realize as rain is still definitely here. And she says, you, you don't have to be so clever. What's going on? You're asleep. I needed to talk to you. You've this been, is real. You've been gone. Yeah. Where are you? Currently in a goblin cave. Sleeping. You're sleeping in a goblin cave? Hiding from goblins, yes. Why? What purpose? Not to die to goblins. What do you want, Rain? I'm trying to find you. Oh. Um, Songfall. I'm nearest a town called Songfall. Where in the hells is that? The Valley of Sharp Teeth? Are you running away? From you? From your responsibility. No, I joined the Flaming Fist so I could not live yes, in a barn. of course. I didn't think they'd send you out into the middle of Elterguard. Well, that's exactly what you told me they'd do. Well, you and your entire squad are dead, so no, says I'm the Flaming alive. Fist. I know that now, but My you're in a goblin cave, so how much longer is that going to last? My squad's all alive, actually. If you... If I die to goblins? Are you going to miss me? Miss. <laughs> I won't miss you. He will. Apparently. He sent me a friend. Another one. What? He sent me a friend. Who? His name's Remington. Who's Remington? He's an imp that I turn into a weasel. I see. <laughs> so you have a, you have a servant, a familiar? What does he tell you? Mm, doesn't really tell me much. I don't believe you. He said that our mutual friend sent him. Caius? Yes? There's only so much I can do here. Right. You made the burrito very well. <laughs> what do you want, Rain? That goblin cam. <laughs> will be the least of your worries and concerns if you don't tell me what's going on. I went to an outpost. Uh, the outpost was promptly uh, attacked by probably two dozen gnolls. Got the hell out. All of my, uh, my squad, Arlen's squad is alive. Most of us. Why aren't you back? Arlen wants to deal with the gnolls. Because so he, you're performing heroics. Uh, on my captain's orders, yes. All right. Can't really walk back. That makes to a little more sense. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. This imp. Uh, Remy. He helps you. Mm -hmm. Kills people for me, yeah. Has he told you any sort of information, giving you any sort of key, any sort of inkling as to why he's there? He said his boss said him, our mutual friend, I assume. <sighs> All right. Said he doesn't know who you are. Mm. Of course you would say that. Mm -hmm. Remember, you and I are in this together. Of course. There is, uh, who he sends is what he wants from you. Our relationship is more important than our relationship with him. Right. He's a lord of lies, and he will do anything to make sure he believes what he wants you to believe. Mm -hmm. I am your truth. Remember that. Of course. Right. Please do not die in a goblin cave. I don't think I will. I will miss you a little bit. Good. But in a Strictly professional way. Right. When I get back, can we actually get this place? Is this a real place? In this uh, place? Goblin cave? No. <laughs> the burrito rain. It was good. The three kegs? Yes, of course. We can go to the three kegs if awesome. you'd like. Thank you.
Just make it back. I will. Soon. I can't promise that. Things are getting worse here. Oh. How much worse? Cults run amok. Oh. Did Dead three are still trying to take over the city. Anyone important die? No. Not yet. Oh. No Black Dragon Gates uh, incidents. Hmm. No more, at least. Did you put flowers on Wilhelm's grave for me? No, I didn't put flowers on Wilhelm's grave. If you'd like, I'll visit his grave, and I'll spit on it if you'd like. Piss on it. I'll piss on it, too, if that's what you want. You know, that's probably what he deserves. It is. You wake up. I have so many questions! But it's Mia and not Sahar. <laughs> Sahar, uh, you saw the whole dream. <laughs> he turns over and Don't he's like, worry, you'll you, you, you should know this too. <laughs> <laughs> and you should know this too, yeah, Pedro Pascal. Yeah. You wake oh. up and you look over and you see Sahar holding a stick and she's like... Hey. But uh, the uh, she's completely returned to her normal self. She's not yeah. all shriveled. That's great. I love that. Sahar, so, so you could... Is this a test of endurance or patience or... Yeah, uh, haven't you gone through it yet? Nope. You gotta hold this completely straight. Don't let it, don't let it... What happens? Shake. Uh, uh, Just keep holding it like that. Yeah, you... My I, I know. My arm's tired. What if I just set it on the ground? That's acceptable. Oh. <laughs> 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 I told you. <laughs> You didn't tell me it would be noise. It's really straight. Irisketh runs back in and she's like, Go to bed. What? Stop. She didn't say it would make noise. I'm so Are sorry. Are you awake? Yes. What in the hell is that? Oh, go to sleep. Don't you go I'm, to sleep. I'm good. I, I what, don't need we've to. Got the second, you don't tell me what to do, King Yank. I wish I could go back to watch, sleep. Which you agreed to. She takes out her blanket and she Rest. starts like. She's been trying to lull me into sleep all night. Clearly a test of my determination. He sets the stuff in his lap and holds it. I make some warm milk. No, you. <laughs> Where'd you find milk? <laughs> you would give goblins. Me cow's milk. No, it's goblin milk. <laughs> Disgusting. Are you sure? Well, he starts taking off his armor. <laughs> In preparation of the goblin milk. Yeah. yeah <laughs> in preparation of the goblin milk. He's like. Mm. <laughs> Do you give him the goblin milk? Yeah, warmed up. He pink <laughs> and it <laughs> spills on the ground. Uh. Well, that was louder than the rod. Mm. Do not exaggerate! <laughs> he yells. <laughs> That's how you know he, he's a little God, grumpy God. right now. Look at look I'm at his little eyebrows. By idiots. I'm, yeah, gonna go um, I'm actually I've got my uh, I've got all the sleep I need. I'm an elf, I don't need to sleep that long. Good. Now sleep. He lays in his bed roll and he like he's perfectly straight and he's like some of us aren't perfectly straight. And he kind of <laughs> waits. He's, he's keeping his eye open. <laughs> Waiting for Sahar to go to sleep. I, I'm already there. I'm like over okay, by great. the girl again. Like, <laughs> uh, They sleep. Caius goes and checks on um, uh, our three friends who were imprisoned. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, How are they? Uh, <laughs> That's important. Uh, yeah. Ollie yeah. is sleeping um, with yeah. his uh, like uh, fetal position upwards, so his butt's in the air. Um, Why did I know you were going to... I was thinking yeah. that. And then um, uh, Goliath, Bronte, uh, the Goliath, he is um, he's asleep yeah. um, in, in a bedroll. And the little the girl is also asleep, yeah. Good. <laughs> I see your friends at Ollie. It's like rain tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he always sleep like that? It's weird. That was, that was good. That was funny. I liked that. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. It's, Really trying to hit me in my in my weak spots. Thanks. I close my laptop. All right. Well then. Um, nothing really happens during your guys' watch. <laughs> the goblins seem to have no idea where you went. They certainly don't want to check the pit where some other goblins have been thrown down and killed um, in the past. So you guys have luckily uh, found a good place to long rest. And Sahar, you don't have any fun dreams, unfortunately. That's fine. Um, you, no, she uh, has dreams of her wife. Yeah. Debatable yeah. levels of fun. That, that's actually great. Debatable levels of fun in those yeah. dreams. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm like teaching her how to garden. It's Aww. great. It's that's very sweet. What are you yeah. growing? Uh, roses. Roses. Pretty but it's like what, it's a weird dream, and the roses yeah. are alive. Oh, and then like, like kind of wrap around my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, stop. And Emilish's like, no, we wanted that. That's normal. We yeah. have to plant them. We wanted them to bite. And if we don't, then older Raven Guard is going to kill us. 
oh. and you're like, but you accept it. You're like, oh yeah, that's normal. Yeah. Of, co oh, of course. That's weird. I have to do this. But if you say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can fly. Yeah. <laughs> I and become a vigilante. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you fall, and before you hit the ground, you wake up. Oh, <laughs> oh I hate those. Um, Ollie wakes you up, and he says, "Sleep good." Oh, better than you I expected. Consider what uh, you can hit the button. You guys have long rested. Perfect. Make sure you subtract one uh, right. ration, yeah. uh, or uh, whatever you eat—a pound of food. And uh, do you guys have a pound water? Of flesh. Uh, I assume I had water in my in my bag. My with the, with All right, the we're just going to assume you guys have one full water skin, which is now empty. Yeah. So keep that in mind. You're going to need that. Yeah, I'll get water when we leave. Is this our f second long rest of the entire game? I, no. I think so. Because you got one when you went to the... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, you got one when you went to the village, and it was all one day to get to here. So I think that's that's yeah. long rest number two. I uh, changed all of my perks. Go for it. Change yeah. all your perks. Um, I took protector, back-to-back, -back, and blinding flash. Protect her back to back. Oh, nice. Um, because it. we were we're traveling with that little girl right now, and oh, perfect. She has protect. Protect. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, and then uh, we've got. Uh, did you um, change any of your perks? Nothing. Did you change any of your perks, guys? Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look at those really quick. I might change out. Um, uh, I'm gonna do a little kin sense real quick. Boop 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 boop. Um, nothing. Cool. Wait. Something? Huh? It... No. It can't. Uh -oh. Maybe... You can't tell. You feel like nearby there could be. But it goes away. Are you just tired? What is this? You're not... It fades slowly. You're not sure. Is this PTSD? Yeah. Or is it kin sense? Whatever it is, there seems to be something nearby that is partially triggering this kin sense for you, but it isn't enough to be there. Not enough for you to know the direction, nor the number. You just feel a presence. Um, I'm gonna swap out, um... You know, no, I'm gonna keep kin sense, same weakness, and frostbite. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Um... You guys do not see Cadman. But on huh? her bedroll, uh, very neatly placed, uh, is 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 a letter? Oh. Who? All right, roll decks. Oh. While they're doing that, I just no. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll two if you want. No, I'm good. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. um, what'd you get, guys? Eleven. You're oh. like uh, and Anastasia snatches it. Um, he gets up to move, and then he remembers the uh, the rod that he has, and he's like, ah, oh, 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 you did it. The, the what does oh, it yeah. smell like? In the room right now? No, the the letter. Oh, the letter. Oh, lilac and gooseberries. Obviously, oh. I'm just gonna to reference. Uh, it doesn't. It smells like paper. Lilac well, like no. and gooseberries. Um, it kind of it kind of smells like. A, what is? And there's no a mind. mixture of um, like there's like a there's like a very like a almost a lilac y smell yeah. with sweat. <laughs> uh, you read the letter. It is only a few words. It says. Sorry that this happened. My brother needs me. I saw him in my dreams. I don't know when I'll be back. I'm okay, Cadman. All right. Well. She's a quiet one. She was very quiet. Is her armor Cadman gone too? Huh? Her armor's gone too. Like all. Uh, of yeah, all of her stuff isn't there. Maybe her. Maybe you her know, brother is a be, god. To be quite honest with you, I don't think he's real. Neither do I. You don't think he's real? See, that's my concern. How did Cadman get out of here if he's not real? <laughs> he must be real. Maybe he is real. Maybe he actually is a god. And he just took her? And all I refuse stuff? to is believe he... that there is a godlike being on this plane. You don't think so? I've seen powerful entities. Well, I should say I've, I've heard tell of powerful entities. Yes, but those that strive to be gods inevitably fall before they get there. Unfortunately. Lesser pre deity deity. Pre deity deity. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well um, we found all maybe he's powerful enough to tell us. Yeah, Puddle, are you ready to go? Anything, assuming yeah. he's real. Yeah, um I'm not feeling too great, but I think I'm gonna be alright. Got your bow? Good for a fight. Got it. Got my crossbow too. 
If I made you hot tea and breakfast right now. Oh, I would love that. Would you? So uh, I would in the absolutely pit? love that. Yeah. For a gold star? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> She makes up. Wonderful. <laughs> she like hot hot meals him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, tea. beautiful. Oh, the goblins are going to smell. Bronte, we need to yeah. move. Do you have enough for one more? Oh sure. Um, Bronte walks over and he's and um, he says, oh, this looks beautiful. Now please. Yeah, of course. Um, and he has he has a little bit of tea. And he's just like, mm. it's like I'm back in the city. Yeah. And, uh, just like my mother. Do you made fight, it. Mm. Bronte? Hmm. <clears throat> well. Regardless of where our armored friend I know how to fight. Wonderful. Regardless of where our armored friend went, I assume the rest of us are going to have to uh, go through yeah, what about a bit kid? of trouble. Uh, you, ever, that's, uh, uh, you ever swung a sword before, kid? No. Oh. You ever used a bow? I know how to use a knife. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And then I'll just stay next to her. It'll be uh, fine. That, you tend to be close up in fray. I won't Do be Do we now. really want to bring the kid close up in the fray? Oh, I, I have no intention of, of, of going close up in the fray. If it gets to us, Sorry, I can protect Sorry, you are currently her. the only one of us that would typically get close up in the fray besides, it points to uh, well, We're not leaving her somewhere. What is, no, your, what is your solution? No, not at all. I'm uh, Leave her behind with the people that actually fight from a distance. Portal? Myself. <gasps> or Caius. If I'm not a portal opens, oh. <laughs> landing right in front of you, clanking all together. Assuming you care enough. Is a 12 pack of healing potions. <laughs> Yo! They don't they shatter? Do it. Does, it they, have no. like, does it have like the little like plastic? Uh, like, you gotta, like, oh yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> you have to <laughs> cut it to, no. to, save, to save the ducks. It's it's in like a wooden carrying case. Oh. Does it have like the fridge like, like open here wants. and you can like dunk. <laughs> They're like bottles. So it's it, it's it, yeah, it's not made out of cardboard. It's like a wooden carrying case of twelve. You can tell how much potions. I drink because I'm like, oh like root beer. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly like root beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Assuming just ass like Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> assuming that you truly care for the kid's survival, which it sounds like you do. No, of course, of course. She's gonna look at the the girl and be like, "How would you feel about staying behind, either with Ollie and this person over here, or staying close to to Caius?" Hi. Um, I think uh, uh Bronte says. Uh, look, I'm I'm a fighter, but I'm not as good as a fighter as the rest of you. I'm more of an inventor. Yeah. I've all these voice for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm just gonna have an American voice. I'm I'm more of an inventor. So you stay in the back with with the kid with us. I can watch the kid. I've and been watch watching her kid. for a while now. Um, she says that's that's fine. Right, it'll be just so long as you come back. You have... want to stay here? Well, we were able to sleep here. Is there no other way out? No, the only way out appears to be uh, through that way. And um, up. We are not exactly sure what's through there, besides like The safest office. option is for you to clear away. It's true. I well, don't want to have to be a burden to you. You would not be a burden. No. I was a burden to my family. You would not be a burden. No. You have to be thinking about me. Protecting yeah. me. I do that with everyone yeah. who's here. But if you feel safe here with these people, that's also okay. I just don't want to leave you someplace. Yeah. Not a burden, just part of the group. Yeah. I think either way it's hard. It is. There's no easy answer in this. But we're not going to leave you alone. We're going to sort of like kind of pulls herself together a little bit. And she says, I'll stay here. Okay. I'll wait. So long as you're also here. He says, oh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Um, All he says, I'd watch the kid, but... You're, uh, you're a good fighter. You should come with us. Yeah, yeah we should really need you know, utilize Kedwin our now. assets here, especially if we don't have Kedwin. Yeah. She's going she's gonna to crouch down next to the girl. She's going to take off her headband. She's going to hold out the one that has like the symbol yeah. of... Um, Lathander. Lathander. She's going to show it to her, and she'll be like, my wife got this for me. You 
yeah, about five years or so. You know, it's an anniversary gift of some sort. I'm kind of attached to it. This is how you know I'm going to come back. She's going to tie it around her arm. Uh, she, she kind of tears up a little bit. She's like, okay. Coming thanks. back for that. You keep it safe now, okay? I will. Okay. Let's go. We and, uh, kill anything that comes in here with Absolutely. that uh, dagger. Does Bronte have a weapon? Yeah, he has a, um... Well, no. <laughs> they would have taken his... Well, no, 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 no. All he has is weapons. He does. He has okay. a, um... He has a glaive. Oh, that's cool. I was going to say, how do you feel about a plus five course <laughs> He's like, I'll take it. Unless you want it. You should probably use that. I don't mind using it, but. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I punch a lot. That's what I do. This is the first plus one weapon we've gotten in it. Goes, <laughs> I'm going to think guys. about it like a lightsaber, though. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the only thing that's going to keep us through. All right, y'all. Here's your minis. I'm going to hand them over. Are we about to go into like a. Oh, you've got your mini. Well, then. Cadman on a horse. I'll be, I'll be right back. Can on I be horse? Cadman on a horse? Or? You can't be Cadman on a horse. Sorry. You're going to be right back? I'll be right back. Can you take your mini first? No. <gasps> Arf. Hello, music. Some cl- tracks are just real quiet. Um, and do you have Sahar? Here's Sahar. Here is Iriska. Thank you. Thank you. And I got to go find Ollie. I don't know where he is. Yeah, I'll find him. Um, go ahead and place um, one of your minis over there, though, kind of towards that uh, that area that heads out. Go over here. Her yeah. Boots. Nope. It, this is the way up. This is the way. Ooh. Do you know the way? <laughs> like, I'm glad that you knew where I was going with that. Waifu and chicken titties. Okay. Somebody said that they were watching at 1.5 speed to catch up, and they said the intro song it sounds great at 1.5 <laughs> speed. And I'm like, hell yeah, I gotta go listen to it. Uh, does, uh, it does it scratch that spider curse? That's what I gotta Yeah, know. you really though. Fast song? Oh, great. Um, well, I've got, I've got three in here. Anytime I go off of 1.5 speed that? after I've been listening to it. <laughs> oh, is that Ollie? Oh. Yeah, surprise. I'm like, why is he this He was Zeriel so the whole time. I trust you. What about, you what about that? Boom. What about that? Oh, thank you. There, put him down. Was that last one Ganondorf? <laughs> yeah, I was Ganondorf. Kinda, I looked kind of like him from the, the how How's Ganondorf? Saw. Ganondorf's in this game. All right, gamers. Let's do this. <clears throat> what? What right. are you doing? I can oh. All right, Jacob, I think it's, you and, it's you and me. All right, Colton. <laughs> Honestly, one on D and one on one D and D is kind of fun. Uh, All right. If is you it? if you live near a Dutch, you should go. Yes, this. go for it. It's good. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Um, it's just very good. Which one is that? Bubble gum. Nice. My go-to lately has been the sweet sunrise. Sweet sunrise. All right. So Emma, can you see that? It's you a know, little off. No, it's not sponsored, but it definitely could be someday. Yeah. That would be <sighs> insane. All right. Dutch, if you're so watching this. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dutch. <laughs> Mr. Dutch? Mr. Bro. Yeah. Mr. Bro. Mr. Bro. Dutch. I have a plan. On I, I broke the damn plan. I have a plan. Arcane, arcane. <laughs> no. Just need a bit more money. That was kind of Arthur, actually. I wasn't really Dutch. I feel like we may have had a shot until now. <laughs> yeah, they were like, you know what? Uh, <laughs> after maybe, the Red Dead Rescue. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, Emma, can you see this room? Cool. Let's go clear some of this here. That looks uh, this scary. map, by the way, is by the Reclusive Cartographer. Go Whoa. check them out yes. on Patreon. Patreon. Support <laughs> artists. I love that name. Yeah, it's great. They have a, a tons of great maps. Um, really love their stuff. Um, okay, so you guys walk into this space right here, which there's still some spots here that I missed. There we go. Uh, this room is... It's a room. It is indeed a room. This musty room <laughs> smells of iron and rancid bile. Can you guys decide <laughs> your, your, uh, your marching <laughs> order here? Uh, can it not be me? Oh, right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, you, you want me? me? I don't I want can me. be in the front. You're, you're the tank right now. <laughs> I'm the ghost. Uh, 
That's fine. I'll be yeah. in front. It's oh, fine. you know what? Irisketh is the tank right now. Oh. Oh, he's not down there. Put him down. Where's his mini? Oh. Oh, Ragnarok. He's in front. Thank you. Perfect. We love um, that. He's like, this <laughs> musty room smells of iron <laughs> and rancid bile. The soft... <laughs> thanks. Orange the glow of torchlight here. illuminates the bony statue of an enormous knoll. Mm. Hideous and dreadful. Oh, Lord. Tiny hairs grow from the bones. It's a stone statue, but it, oh, hairs grow what? from the bones on the back of it to form a mane. It's stained in many bloody goblin handprints. This is obviously very clearly a shrine to the demon lord Inagu. In front of it, in on his knees, is this armored, like, Huge armored, like a uh, uh, shoulder pauldron, uh, uh, another plate interlocking to another plate onto his arms to uh, gauntlets onto uh, a, a multi sort of uh, a layered breastplate down to the legs where there is very little space uh, that isn't made of uh, that shining metal that you guys have oh. uh, seen before. Um, the uh, 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 you guys recognize it as um, you guys identified it last time, right? Yes. Yeah, it's. Less peel. Less peel. Um, it sort of has this gray and sort of like sparkling quality to it. Um, and he's, uh, he's, he's before the statue. Um, behind him are about eight goblins. All of them have that eye marking on them. And uh, they're all, they all seem to be in a sort of deep chant, deep prayer. And as um, uh, he continues this prayer and uh, 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 continues... Uh, speaking, he turns his head instinctively, sort of looking over towards Irisketh, who kind of holds his hand forward. Um, this hobgoblin has uh, two weapons on him. Uh, he has a couple of javelins on his back. He has this enormous sword that is lying on the ground. It is huge. It's maybe about a foot wide, um, and it's like six feet long. Um, and uh, then he has uh, another sword on his back. It's like this curved silver sword. Um, and Irisketh sort of notices it um, and, and uh, uh, keeps like his gaze locked on it. The hobgoblin turns, stands up with his arm still outstretched, and he says, My lord has shown me this very moment. Shit, so sorry. Treasure chest hits his head and he dies. <laughs> uh, Perfect. That you all would in enter my embrace. Chosen of my lord, of my prince. He takes the enormous sword, and it kind of scrapes off the ground as he holds it. He needs two hands to hold it as he points it over towards you, uh, Caius, and he says, I will slave you. I will, sorry, slay you. Slay and I will join him. We fight now. Uh-oh. And uh, a, a goblin walks over towards him, hands him a helmet. He drops his sword a bit. He takes this helmet, covers his entire face um, as he starts to walk towards you and prepares to fight. Yeah. This is it, y'all. Let's roll initiative. Cool, cool, initiative. cool, cool. He, uh, he, he, di he didn't say my name, did he? He just said I was chosen. Caius. Ah. There, he threw it in there. <laughs> that could have that been anyone. No, the Caius being. Yeah. He's Caius. like, it's Caius, right? <laughs> yeah. Caius. Um, not Caius? Not, yeah. You know, it's supposed to be Caius, but everyone just Caius. Oh, really? No. <laughs> You're like, I wish. I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, Anastasia, what'd you roll? Uh, 19. Also, I like how we just ignore... Oh, and I'm gonna put my minis the, down now. The Anastasia being like, this little girl would absolutely be okay, a I'm burden. Gonna, I'm use that moment. Sahara just didn't. Uh, Sahara's just not reacting. She's, everyone's gonna be entitled to their opinion, but... Do you have the measuring tapes? I have a straw. Nice. Um, they're upstairs. Alright. I can go get them. That's 30 feet. It. I've got it. <sighs> Exactly. Colton, that doesn't work. Yes, it does. It's a measure app on my phone. It doesn't. It's That's not how that works. It is how it works. Also, uh, Sahar doesn't have to be in combat in order to tank. She has a uh, ranged uh, damage. Look, oh, hell yeah, up. you Look, do. I have it measured out. Well, right. I can there literally... All right. Well, if it works for you, I can do it on my phone. I should say the DPS. This is just until we, get, tank, the, we, until we get the the measuring tapes. Oh, my lord. Okay. 
Those uh, the the painted goblins are um, are are bosses. They're a little stronger than the other ones. Okay, I don't have a good way to deal with the group. Well, okay, <laughs> Anastasia, you got a nineteen. Kais, yeah. would you roll? Oh, Kais isn't here. Sorry, Sahara, would you roll? A twenty-one. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna roll all mine, and then once Spencer comes back, I'll get memes. Oh, you know who else is with you? Uh, the bar guest. <laughs> Oh, what is good. her name again? Uh, yeah, if she stayed behind Barb. with that little girl, that was not happening. No, 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 no she did not. Yeah, <laughs> she was very clear about that. Stay behind with her. Yeah, Bait is with you. This is Bait. Oh, thank God. There you go, Bait. You can be over there. No. Put Bait next to Iris Skiff. He'll be in the front. We what? love that. Honestly, we, we, we love this. Okay. Um, and uh, now I wait for Spencer. Do you want to? Do you want memes? I would. Yeah, but I'm gonna wait for Spencer. That's yeah. fair. Did you know that one of the memes today will be uh, from our our members? Sorry, if you join our get? second members tier, That's you cool. will get wow. you will get to you will get to post a meme in our in our exclusive members land area of our Discord. Members and uh, then there's a poll that goes up before the game, and you get to vote on a meme. Uh, I'm so excited to see what you guys sent me. I uh, what happens if I laugh at a members meme? Uh, everyone gets plus five. We all five get a plus two. Hmm. That's. Oh! What'd you say, Emma? Emma gets a little treat. Emma gets a little treat. That's kind. Of, that's kind of fun. That is yeah, what what is the treat, Emma? To be determined. <gasps> Hell yeah! A rice crispy treat. Oh, so, have I you seen that rice crispy popcorn? No. Oh my god! It looks so good on. It's fine. Um. I'll send you to you later. Was that timer for the portal? Yes. All right. So at the beginning of combat, Emma, go ahead and put the items acquired at five. Uh, we're done with as we start uh, this this combat, I'm going to give you guys the final item from the chat, is it the rope? which is an alchemy jug. Oh. I'm going to put. Go ahead and put this. Wait, um, just a full on alchemy jug. Uh, oh, shit. It's an alchemy jug. Uh, go ahead and put this D4. But it only makes uh, like right in front of spiders um, or something Sahar. horrible. Um, it is an alchemy jug. And it looks like um, like an alchemy jug to me. I think it's fun that it has like different colored corks all mm -hmm. along the side of it sure. that it has all of the different kinds. Um, it's like red on wine, uh, you know, sort of like a blue for the water, right, a green right. yeah, for the yeah. salt water, white for the mayonnaise, um, you know, all that. Um, every single cork is white. I swear to God. Does it only make mayo? It's an alchemy jug, but it just it it's just mayonnaise. You couldn't have given us an alchemy jug, but it's just water, like. I was hoping it could produce oil because I was going to do some that. shenanigans Ma with you. Mayonnaise is kind of oily. Yeah, can't I'm catch on saying, fire. I'm just saying this isn't a useless item. This is uh -huh. there's a lot of application for mayo. Right. Is any of it vegan mayo? Look, I just want to let you One know, Mia, yeah, that alchemy jug, but it's just mayonnaise. Uh -huh. Won by three more votes <laughs> than the, than the next thing, which uh -huh. was a great sword of Sir Talavar. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a sleek yeah. dagger of faintly violet hue and cross guard resembling a marvelously twirly mustache. Oh, uh, that little girl will love that. Wait, that that's just Talavar's weapon that he gives to you yeah, in yeah. Witchlight. Yeah, and then if you <laughs> throw it, it's a crit, and then it disappears forever. Oh, okay, well, that's different. <laughs> that uh, looks like, I was like, like whoa. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah. this is clearly better. <laughs> Jacob, yeah. is any of it vegan, Manny? Um, unfortunately not. Yeah, wow. it's just regular. Anyways, um, can it light on fire? Fire? Oh, like what? Maybe a little bit. No. Maybe a little bit. No. Okay. Um, okay. okay. I got it. Anyways, got it. Emma, unplug the keyboard. Um, here you go. Here we go. Um, what did you get on your initiative? I got a twenty-one. Um, Damn. And then wh what's our consensus with if I laugh at the members meme? You guys get a pl you all I get think a plus a two. Plus two and, and Emma, Emma gets, gets a little treat. Wow. Oh. What? What was that? Yeah. What? Sorry. What was your twenty-one? You twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yep. All right, fine. I'll give you guys plus two if you if I laugh at the members meme, which I won't. Okay. I've never laughed at any meme before. <laughs> Not no. once. I'm gonna do Anastasia first. Um, I'm glad Cadman has a meme. I'll save it for later. Oh yeah, just in, good. Just, just in, in case. case. Um, <laughs> I love what you did with the members meme. It's 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 very sweet. So was doing Anastasia um, first. Sorry, Anastasia first. There's uh, someone who changed their name into here to your throbbing member too. <laughs> That's really funny. That's, wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Your fiance sent me this. Did she? Oh, damn. Sure did. Oh. But spoiled it. Regardless, spoiled it. Still I had funny. seen it before. She of sent course. it to me. So 
I've seen every Attack on Titan meme to ever exist. You so cannot did surprise you, me. With did you, you have to did make you your own Attack on Titan meme. If you make time? your own Attack on Titan meme, that would actually be did the best. Did you see the one I almost got you with the last time I did an Attack on Titan meme? No. Oh, it's it's the it's the girlfriend meme where the guys. But like, it's Ryan. Or but Bear it's it's <laughs> Ryan Bearholt and Bearholt's looking at Annie. <laughs> Col Colton also did Attack on Titan reference earlier, and that uh, oh. that that kind of came out Annie. of nowhere and got me, which was very sweet. Um, uh, with with the way that Ollie was sleeping, loved that. Yeah. Oh. Um, Caius. <laughs> oh, oh, laugh, you motherfucker! <laughs> my God! Feel joy, feel that joy. That sounded like a laugh. Feel yeah. joy. <laughs> what is it? You guys got a plus one to your HP today. I'm emotionally drained. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and you guys brought that, that up earlier. That was whistle like, meme. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite uh, meme. I don't. Oh. But he's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Giga Chad meme always gets yeah. me. All right. Uh. <sighs> Sahar, I place my homie in tucked in position and end my turn, and it's a guy with a Yu-Gi-Oh card as a blanket. That's. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's pretty right? Good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I was like, if you think it's gonna get it, it it's this one. I it's have seen one. it before. Oh, oh damn. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh. Uh, and then, and the then members. Memes. My members card is going to be, um, is going to be, uh, the the, the bard cast. It's gonna be, it's gonna oh. be bait. Um, I mean, it which is be the bad guy. <laughs> is it good? You laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. That's a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> members got him. Emma gets, Emma gets says, a Rice Krispie treat. Oh, it's that. Well, it's a sign oh. <laughs> that says, we'll gladly breed you, <laughs> just ask. Whoa. I saw Whoa. That. Oh, I saw that in the Discord and almost said something about it. And I was like, oh, no, that's the wrong Thank channel. Thank you, members. <laughs> that is, that oh. is funny. Where's my plus two? God damn. All right, I'll get fucking this, plus two. This is also not Kais right is going order. first because of plus two now. It was. Wait. Hang on. Uh, mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on. Sahar is also going through. before Irisketh and Bait. Uh huh. Because I, I also had a twenty. How did that thing roll? Oh. Uh, Me. Uh, yeah. uh, Bait and Irisketh both both got a twenty-two. Um, oh. and now you're all going before them. Oh no, I'm sorry, Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said all. I'll take it. Yeah, all. Yeah. You did say it. And we believe in holding you accountable. We do. <laughs> we do believe in that. <laughs> Ollie. Uh, oh, Ollie also goes before me? Uh, sorry, I meant to do Erisketh. Ollie is... Why is he so short? <sighs> oh, I forgot to put him in the initiative. Is Erisketh short? Yeah, how tall is he? Erisketh? Yeah. Erisketh yeah. is... Um, 5'11". Short king. Okay, I was say, keep in mind, Anastasia is taller than he is. That's great. Yeah. Short king. Sahar short. Yeah. They need all Her. your initiatives Sahar. again. I think she's five, five. She's medium. Is I say about it, everything. She's just medium. Just medium. She. You. Oh, God. You need to be acting up. Give me six a second. Oh, yeah. we're the same height. Oh. Yep. I'm pretty sure. I think I said she's five six, but if I didn't. Then don't hold me accountable. Uh, she is five six. I remember. Okay. Um, I remember her being my height. Okay. Good. I remember being five, like six. Sahar is the only character in all of Arcane Arcade who is my height. <laughs> I'm five six. Uh, we found out yesterday that I'm her... the shortest. Oh, an extra two inches. I am the shortest he him on on uh, on Arcane Arcade. Yeah. We stand as short kings though. Yeah. So. Well, you're the shortest the person Jack. here, so. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Jack. Is six oh, four. Emma's technically shorter than Jack than and Mia. Jack and. Uh, Albert's six foot, exactly. Oh. Yeah. Jack and Logan would duke it out. Oh, God. Logan's know. too tall. Duke it out. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Scary. Anastasia, what did you roll? Uh, 19 plus 2, 21. Uh, Caius, what did you roll? I rolled a 21, so 23. And Sahar? I rolled an 18 plus 3, 21. Thank you. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. So you would have had a 23 then? With the plus two. With the, with the plus two. What else do we get? Just the plus two? Mm -hmm. And okay. Emma gets a Rice Krispie it's Treat? And Emma yeah. gets a Rice Krispie Treat. A, a, a crispy Treat. Crispy, crispy. No, you, you had more than that, Sahar. I'm pretty sure, because I, I have you here. Sahar has also I a rolled a 21 plus two from the members. Got 23. it. I knew that. I got yeah, it. Sir, I was, I was kind Barg of... Barghest. Uh -huh. uh, Bargy. I know what I'm doing. I know how to play D&D. &D. Okay, it's Caius. Me. 
It's Sahar. Uh-huh. It's Bait. Bait. It's Irisketh. Uh-huh. It's Anastasia. Then Ollie. 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 You don't know when the bad guys Puddle. go. Puddle. Um, oh, yep, that's his nickname. That All right, Caius, you are first. Okay, well, big boy uh, pointed out me, right? And mm-hmm. was like, I'm going to slay me or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he did. He did. Um, so I'm going to, can I get next to, can I get next to this alchemy jug? Um, yes, you can. It's not taking up you, the whole you space, right? your stuff? Or you, that's I mean, like, if that's all you want to do. That's all I'm going to move. Yep. You um, can use an action to pick it up and put it in your backpack if you want. Uh, I don't want it. I just wanted to know if you I just could sit stand next right to there? it. You got it. Um, hey, Emma, um, I'm going to fix the camera a little bit. He's not more than 150 feet just away. Just let me know. I need to do that. <laughs> um, I hope he's not. It's like, you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Caius, well, we fight now. Emma? Zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I need to. I need to adjust myself a little bit. I'm gonna shoot one of these arrows of lightning at him. Okay, you're gonna shoot an arrow of lightning at him. Yep. Uh, Emma, I'm also gonna stand up. I got yes. it. I got it. What is okay. my? Okay. My um, you're gonna so shoot fast. an arrow of lightning at him. So arrows of lightning towards him because he is wearing Lespiel armor. Yeah. Are uh, he is vulnerable to lightning damage. Look at that. <clears throat> That's very cool. Um, so it's okay, plus you one. Just from, this, or you just from, this? from the, yes. Um, from, the, from the hole. Uh, so I I it it here? No. No. You just take the whole thing. Right? Yep. To the right a little bit. What? Okay. I'm crooked. Okay. Hi. Um, Good? I kind of want to use my... Emily, why don't you fix it? Okay, all right. Oh, I don't... Uh, I'm good. Okay, Caius, you go he, over... Wait, wait, wait. Is he... Is he... Uh, is he... A spawn of Unigu by any chance? No. Fuck. I would have crit him. Um, Dang, sorry. It's okay. I'm already kind of critting him because he's vulnerable. Um... Do you know why I don't like quarter staffs? Why? It's because they're strength if weapons you and not dash weapons. Yeah, that's damage. dumb. That's really so weird. dumb. Yeah. It's How are they not finesse? I don't know. What Maybe they are. Uh, I was saying that quarter staffs are strength weapons. What? Yeah. That's why Immolation used isn't, it. Isn't a quarter staff also like the stereotypical monk weapon though? Yeah. It might so be I, that it counts uh, as a monk weapon, so maybe I get to do something with it. That's absolutely what it is. Quarter yeah. staffs are monk weapons, I think. Um, Jacob, it's just because you're off center with the curtains a little. Oh, I see. So it looks slightly um, Got it. So when I use the ability to make it a lightning arrow, does it, I think I asked the last time, it replaces the bow damage just with lightning arrow damage, right? Um, are you casting lightning arrow? Yes. Yes. It, it, the, the arrow turns into lightning okay. as you cast it. Okay. Thirteen, nineteen, nineteen, um, lightning damage. Um, what did you get to hit? What did you roll to hit? Oh, sorry, it was a nineteen plus um, six, so twenty-five. Oh yeah, yeah, big hit. Um, okay, um, yeah, go ahead and uh, uh, so n- how much damage was that? It was nineteen. Nineteen. Um, so, so doubled is thirty-six. No, thirty-eight. I'm sorry. 38. 38. 38. Um, yeah, you... you I almost 10 hit. times 2 and then 9 times 2 and then add it together. Beautiful. 28 you pull back... Um, it, this is with the bow, right? Yeah. The, um, you pull back the arrow as it... You feel the, the tinge of the lightning against him. As the arrow fires, it crackles through the air and as it slams into the side of him, as he kind of points his enormous sword at you, he just almost stepped back as the impact uh, took him off of like his right foot and he and he steps himself forward and he says, Lucky first hit. Um, hmm. It's taking a, a 
that isn't a um, healing potion always an action? No, you can bonus action uh, other potions. Yeah, you want to take the potion of heroism? Yeah. That's what I figured. Yes. Yeah, go for it. Might need the hit points. So now you have temporary hit points? Yes, I have 10 okay. of them. Sahar. Okay. Um, I think I might do something dumb. Okay. Um, beep. This Can is you measure that straw? So I believe it's 30 feet. Measure it real quick. Here. You know, just so just we're not a, being st- silly. A, a, I'm, I'm sure. so down for this you to use a straw. I'm pretty sure Craig oh, did this. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. There you go. There we go. This is 40 feet? My straw? Maybe the straw's 40 feet. Ooh. How much? How each does each uh, inch is five feet. Okay. It's, no it's almost. It's almost 40 feet? It's almost as then long. Then just go a little bit more than the straw. And that's no, no, a, a little less than the straw. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Just. Because um, actually, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, action dash to get here. Oh, then you right can in the run middle. wherever you want. Ooh. There you go. Um, nice. And then I guess. How many of these people are looking at me? When you run Can't right there, all of them, um, except for Uzron. Uzron is focused, focused on Kaius. On okay. All the goblins, you run in, all the goblins are now like like looking at you. All right, she's gonna she's gonna like strike her her fist together yeah. and as a bonus action, blinding flash. Yes. Everyone within twenty feet of me has to make a con save. A save. Um, I think that's all of them. That is like all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So they all need to roll con saves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go Very down the line nice. here. Um, I'm gonna have Uzron roll. Um, he's kind of looking at Caius, so he's not really looking at you. I'm gonna give him advantage. For sure, for sure. Um, it's a con save. Yeah. Uh, he gets a uh, a 17. Okay. Uh, my my DC is eight plus two, 10, 13. Okay. 13. Uh, the regular goblins. Yeah. Uh, that is a seven on the dice. That's a seven. Uh, and then the the goblin bosses, uh, they get uh, five. Wow. <laughs> Man. Five. Okay. okay, all the goblins, ah! they just they pull back, and they're yeah. just blinded as you just, uh, uh, you all can, from the distance, you know, you see the flash yeah. of light just emanate from you, uh, Sahar. What does it look like? Yeah, look I like? think she, she, like, she strikes it, and, like, as she's doing that, like, she's channeling, like, all of her, her celestial uh, radiance yeah. into it, and, like, hoping to... To like have it sweep out, so it does it like, like extends outward. It's <laughs> so cool. White light and like surrounds everyone like a flashbang. <sighs> yeah, and um, it swirls around them. They have no idea where they are anymore. They're just like, and they're, they're they're all just completely blinded as it slowly sort of fades, and all of them are like looking in random directions, like ah ah, boss, I can't see. Um, and then I'm just gonna probably step back to here because I would good. have had enough movement. Yep. Um, really, um, really quick, um, this guy needed to make a dexterity save, um, for the. Lightning arrow. Um, and I assume. Fifteen. Um, I think that beats my thing, which I assume it would be. But he would take half. All right, go ahead and give me that damage. Um, um uh, bait is going to uh, run up to this goblin five. boss right here. Um, if you could do that for me, Mia or Spencer. This one? Uh, no, the goblin boss. Hmm? Yeah, that one. Um, she can make it there. Um, and how much damage? Oh, sorry. Yeah, From the lightning arrow. Uh, five. Five. Um, she's going to run over and she is going to, uh, she's going to make a bite and a claw attack. Um, that is, uh, two hits. She kills it and then like siphons, um, uh, its soul. As she does so, um, she, it, wait, let me do math really quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she perfectly does its health. As she kills it, it falls to the ground, and then she begins to siphon its soul away, but then the goblin, like, turns its head, and she's like, what? And then uh, it explodes. Like, uh, mm-hmm. a, a seam opens from the middle of it, strikes open, the eye begins to glow, as a knoll <laughs> pulls, jumps out uh-huh. of, like, the body of the uh, of the what goblin, the? Uh, covered in blood. Um, doesn't have any weapons or anything. It almost, like... It's 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 fleshy like it's newborn. It doesn't have um, a lot of like fur, but it's like <laughs> as it like looks around like dripping in blood. It's bigger than the goblin it came out of. Huh. Um, go ahead and put a knoll down there for me um, where uh, that dude just died. It's in front of the uh, bait. Uh, I'm sorry, this one. No. No. 
Just okay. right there. Oh. I already took them anyway. Gotcha. Um, uh oh. Irisketh is going to uh, move up to Uzran. Um, and he is going to. Um, he doesn't have his scimitar, but he's going to try to uh, hit him with the with the sword. He doesn't have his silvered scimitar, which is what he has. He's going to try to actually take it from him. He's going to do uh, a contested grapple. Oh, he took it. Um, that is a nine from Irisketh. Oh, come and, on, uh, Well, he has a plus two, so he has 11. Uh, and Uz Well, his athletics, actually, so 14. Um, and Uzron rolls a natural 20. That didn't work. So he's going to try again with another attack. Uh, he gets a 23, and he takes it. Um, he goes over and he wrestles the sword from him, um, but that's the end of his turn. Irisketh has, uh, kind of unsheaths it, and he now has this gleaming silver scimitar. Uh, Anastasia, it's your turn. Yep. Um, okay, well, I have some scrolls. I really like... This, uh, this, this guy in all the armor, uh, with the armor, um... This big boss man. Does mm -hmm. he look like he's primarily... This is a weird question. But the weapons that he's using, do they look like they're more, like, dexteric or more strength? It is a giant sword. Giant-ass sword? So definitely more strength. Okay. Like, almost like Guts' sword from Berserk, mm. but just a little Lord. smaller. Not that big. <laughs> when I level up, I can take it. It's fine. Um... And she looks, and she sees... <sighs> comes forward. Right, you go to about there. Comes forward, sees that happen with the null spawning. Mm -hmm. Realizes that this is going to be a mess of a fight. Mm -hmm. Concentration, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I got it. Uh, that's... Where's the measuring tape? Oh wait, a pencil's like... This is like 60 feet, right? 30. 30. 30. Oh, pfft. he's within 60 feet then. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to pull out one of the scrolls and just kind of open it up. And as she does, she's going to run her hands across it. Okay. Uh, casting Rave Enfeeblement on... Ooh, nice, nice. Okay, so it's a second... Can you cast second level spells? I can. Then you're good. I can naturally cast them. All right. 18 on the die. It's an Ooh. attack roll for a 23. On Ooze Run, you're casting Rave yes. Enfeeblement. Yes. Um, that hits. Wait, how much damage? I'm oh, sorry, what was it, what was it to hit? No damage. 23 to hit. 23 hits. On a hit, the target deals only half damage with weapon attacks that use strength until the spell ends. Oh, it's concentration, uh, one minute. He can make a con save at the end of his turns to try to That's really get rid good. of the effect. That's really good because he's next. <laughs> um, and he hates that. Um, okay, he is going to... He's just going to clunk. And he's going to uh, shove past um, Irisketh, who's going to get an attack of opportunity on him as he moves up to Caius and uh, Anastasia. But he's going to stay at about 10 feet back from you, Caius. Yep, about right there. That's where he stands. He takes his sword, and in a wide arc, <laughs> he uh, uses Hortical Swing. Um, he's taking an offensive stance. Uh, this, has a, this is a recharge. Uh, and swings wide and arcs all around him. Um, <clears throat> Uh, that is a uh, uh, 24 to hit you, um, Anastasia. And then Caius, that is a 27 to hit that. you. Yeah, that'll do. Um, both of you take 18 slashing damage. Okay. Is that already um, halved? Uh, already, oh, halved to nine. Cool, I'm unconscious. Oh, shit. <laughs> we have a six pack of healing potions. Don't you have 10 pack. hit points now? I have nine. You have eight, you I went eight, eight to nine? Yeah. Damn. Uh, Rave Enfeeblement's um, done. Okay. Technically, if we want to, does it go away no, before no, no. I'm it gonna, hits Caius? It, 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 Caius still takes nine. Okay. Um, you're down, um, if you can put Anastasia prone. Um, Caius, you, uh, you are knocked back 20 feet, but there's no way for, where, for you and Anastasia to go. So, uh, <laughs> he also hits the alchemy jug. The alchemy jug rolls over towards, uh, towards Ollie. Um, you wouldn't go back 20 feet, but you just hit the wall and sort of slide down. Do I lose concentration? Because we do the dying condition now, so I'm not unconscious. Yes, you still... I actually have a rule for this. Let me get it really fast. Because I have Warcaster, so I have advantage to... Right, hang on. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you lo you're going to still lose concentration when you go into dying, okay. but you can concentrate on a new spell while you're dying if you want to. Mm. The idea is that you're you're knocked down, like you're brought down to the point. It's enough in my. I think it would be cool, a cool perk later, if you had a perk that let you still concentrate when you went to Could I roll normal, since I have Warcaster, which would normally let me roll advantage? What do you mean? Because I have the feat Warcaster, which right. normally lets me roll an advantage con checks to maintain concentration on a spell. I'm saying, since I could theoretically concentrate on a spell in this condition, mm -hmm. could I make a normal con check? to see if I could maintain concentration instead of at advantage because I have Warcaster. N normally, no. I'll let you take a level of exhaustion for it, though. Fuck it. Do you already have a level of exhaustion or did you heal it? Uh, I healed it at the end of the... Long rest. Long rest. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Did you get a one? Yeah, I got my coin back. <laughs> level of exhaustion for my coin, that works. All right. Um... And then he uh, is going to end his turn. Um, it is Ollie's turn. Ollie is going to uh, make two longbow attacks at Uzron, um, and uh, he's going to try to use oh, Archer's Eye with a bonus shield. action. Um, he misses both. He both longbow arrows just ding ding bounce off him. He goes shit, um, and he says it might be better if I'm in the fray with this one. And he takes out his swords and he's going to uh, uh, get into melee. Um, he's going to kind of stand near Anastasia. Um, goblins. Um, they're all blind. <laughs> Was he? Ah, uh, never mind. They're all going to wildly try to move in a direction. Um, in an attempt to hit Sahar, uh, I'm going to roll a d8, which will be their cardinal direction that okay. they run, because they're all dumb. Uh, one, two, three. This one runs this way and bumps into this goblin. <laughs> This one goes this way and runs into this pillar. Uh, Do they one, swing two, at their buddies? I don't know four, if it's five. a horror or a goblin. <laughs> it just, they know if it's a goblin. They, 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 they are trying to bump into Sahar to then attack her. Gotcha. Um, this one runs into him. Uh, he, they both run into each other. They both, pff, ow! Uh, these guys... This guy goes... Pff. This guy goes, Aah! and <laughs> he manages to bump into you, Sahar. He's going to make an attack, but at disadvantage. Good, good. He gets a... He gets a nine. <laughs> no. no. She, she just... Whoop. <laughs> she like, maybe like pushes him back a little. Like, Perfect. Oh. I don't think this fellow went. Um, he did. He did? Okay. No, I actually don't think oh, he no, did. Oh, no, that one didn't. Seven run into that pillar right there. Uh, the knoll is not blinded. It is going it's like to a new creature. Yeah, maybe. he's not blinded. Sorry. Yeah. What if, um, what if he was blinded because he came out of like <laughs> yeah. the body? <laughs> yeah, he has all of the attributes of the <laughs> creature that he was. Yeah, because he um, uh, he uh, is going to attack. Um, bait. Bait. Uh, with two bite attacks, uh, she takes four piercing damage. That is the end of her turn. Kaius, it's your turn. Top of the round. Sahar, you're on deck. I'm going to shoot that guy again. Okay, go for it. Um, I'll just use one of these arrows of lightning, because I can't use the... Okay, arrow of lightning instead. Yeah, I can't use the other ability again. All right, go for it. Um, that's another 19. Uh, that's another 19, so it's um, uh, 25. 25 to hit? Yeah, because this, yeah. this is a plus one bow, right? Yeah, it's yes. plus one. Yeah, so 25. Cool. You got it. Roll damage. Um, so it's a longbow, does a d8, and then these do 2d4 lightning damage. Sorry, you technically have the same um, initiative. You can also go ahead and go if you want. Oof. Um, that is... How long are the goblins blinded? Two rounds. Two rounds. That's seven... Piercing. Seven piercing damage? And then um, five lightning, so ten lightning because he's vulnerable. 17? Yes. Uh, you f fire I uh, this arrow into him, um, and as the lightning sort of like strikes through, it breaks almost like through his lustbeal armor, strikes into him, and just rattles him. He's bloodied. <gasps> Yippee! Um, that's 19 to hit. 
Uh, 19 to hit uh, uh, Urzon. Yeah. Uzron. Uh, 19 misses. Okay. Um, then I'm going to flurry of blows. Okay. Yeah, you go over and literally just like strike, <laughs> and it's so hard for you to find like a spot. You almost have to like like flatten your palm. Yeah. Um, and like, <laughs> you're like, how am I going to get like the knuckle in here? But you try and it's like, ding. It's like, okay, you, you have to completely reassess how to fight this dude. Uh, 18 plus 5 is 23. 23. Hit. Hit. Oh. And then a 19 is not going to hit. Yeah, 19 uh, misses. 23, though, will hit. 23 so. will hit. Do, do a little, little damage. Seven points of damage. Um, he's going to use his reaction to being mm -hmm. hit to shield bash. Sure. Um, as he as you go over and hit him, uh, he uh, <laughs> he, with one hand, drops like his sword, takes his shield, which is on like this, like, it's on his side, yeah. and he just like he grabs it and it flips into place, and he bing goes to hit you with it. Uh, he gets a um, sixteen. Um, that that meets it, beats it. Sorry. Um, you take five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, roll a strength saving throw. Have I resummoned Remy? You didn't say you did, but okay. you can if you want to. No, it's all right. I just forgot to do it. You I can do it as an action. No, it's all right. I'm just saying if you want to on your turn as an action. I don't want to do that. Then that's fine. A strength saving throw. Yes. Um, 19. Uh, you're good. You're not prone. Um, Bait's turn. Bait is going to attack the Knoll. Um, she hits with one attack. Does 13 piercing damage. Um, next up is Irisketh. Uh, Irisketh... Uh, he's kind of needs a... Uh, he kind of... He realizes he's the only one standing here who's the bulwark between those goblins who are still blinded uh, and that dude. He's going to take that opportunity. He's going to take a silver scimitar, attack these two goblins right here, if you can move them into five feet with them. Uh, he hits them both. Um, he deals eight plus three psychic damage to both of them. They're both dead. We love that. Um, Anastasia, it's your turn. Do they uh, turn into gnolls? Uh, they do. Oh man, that sucks. Um. Just both burst out, and now he's reassessing. He's like, okay, they all turn into gnolls. Maybe I don't attack all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, uh -huh. roll your death save. We'll see you later. Okay. Um, so I didn't take a potion as a bonus action, right? Yes, you can. But I roll? Is that how that works? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if it's a bonus action, you roll. Um, using a bonus action doesn't fail you a death save, 2D, I think. 2d4? I don't know if I'm drinking a potion of healing, who cares? Well, yeah, bonus a I'm, I'm just I'm just reminding myself. Gotcha. An action fails a death save, a bonus action doesn't. 2d4 plus 2, right? 2d4 plus 2. Uh, I'm back up to 7. All right, you're at 7. You That's almost full. That is. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's really funny because like the idea is that she gets hit once is like, Ugh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, and she stands back, back up. up. <laughs> I can't cast that spell again. That was a scroll. Um. Uh. He's right. Those snows are gonna be a problem. Okay, we have a flaming sphere mini, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. Let me go get all my. Magic minis. Nice. All Flaming Sphere! All, <laughs> all of them need to make deck saves. Okay. Um, so that's no. Uh, who? Everybody within five feet? Everyone within five feet. Okay. Which that should be all of them except for Iriska, hopefully. Um, I think that null's just out of range. That first null is not, though. Yeah, I think it's all of them except for that one null. Okay. Um, so the goblin bosses get an 18. The uh, little goblins pass. get a 4. And the null gets a 8. Little goblins fail. The null fails. Okay. Um, let You're me also going to create fire surface right there. Uh, have as much damage on successful. We'll save. Okay. I can see where that is. It's kind of near that. 
10. So the ones that failed take 10. The, one that's, the ones that succeeded take 5. Got it. Wow, it's very pixely. Oh. Oh, that I missed. <laughs> oh, okay. Can can I have more than one pixel? There we go. Okay, that's a fire area. Um, what you? Sorry, what was that? Uh, those that fail take ten. Those that succeeded take five. Uh, the little goblins are dead. Okay. Um, and they turn into gnolls. <clears throat> All. What's what are the these are the little one. goblins? Uh, no, the the, the little gray ones. Okay, I wasn't here when you described what was what. Uh, those gnolls leap out and are in a fire surface. <laughs> I need we to make love that, that circle a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's like this. That's the fire surface. Okay, um, uh, the he those goblins are in there, right? but they're also in a fire yeah. surface. Wonderful. Um, they're not on fire; they're just <laughs> in the surface. Uh, uh, do any of these gnolls seem to have like javelins or anything, or what are their? Weapons? No, they they just have claws and bites. They have no Wonderful. weapons on them. How tall is the ceiling? <laughs> um, Thirty-five feet. Awesome. I am concentrating on a conjuration spell, okay. which means as per redacted, uh, <laughs> I gain a fly speed equal to my movement speed. So I'm gonna fly up thirty feet. Nice. And uh, he Perfect. can't opportunity attack me because he already shield bashed. Oh, you're cool. You're cool. Um, Do you take his turn? Oh, no. I'm he, before, he's I'm, next. I'm he's just next. before him. Yep, I'm getting the hell out of you. there. <laughs> 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 you, you get knocked down. You summon a flaming sphere and you, you fly up into the air. Um... I gotta do damage to those goblin bosses real quick. How much was that again? Five for the uh, ones that five succeeded? Five for the ones that succeeded, ten for those that failed. Okay, the null failed, right? Yes. Uh, the null and the little guys failed. Okay, which is ten? Yes. Okay. If they end their turn within five feet of it, they have to make the save again. Okay. Um, all right, Uzran is next. Uzran is going to take, uh, he's gonna use his bulwark stance. He's gonna try to get his horticle swing back. He doesn't get it back. Um, but he has bulwark stance, which does is on recharge. Um, he steps backwards, he kind of puts his sword sort of forward and holds up his shield and like uh, 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 just takes a completely defensive stance. Um, he's going to heal 2d10 hit no. points. Where's my d10? There it is. Um, 2d10 plus 5. He's going to heal 12 hit points. He's still bloodied and um, his AC is increased by 10. Uh, oh, it's Ollie's turn. He's like, I don't think I can break through that. Um, <clears throat> are you hurt? Yeah. Maybe giving you a potion might be a good idea. Or you can also take out gnolls. Yeah. Um, you're not like dying though. No, no, no. Okay. Um, can you go ahead and move Ollie a little bit, be uh, like within five feet of Uzron, but like towards his back? Like, yeah, he's like, like right here? there. Um, and then he's going to take shots at the gnolls. Um, he's gonna shoot two just at that one that just is right in front of um, uh, bait. Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> He's gonna do eight piercing damage. That one's dead. Um, and then he is going to shoot at uh, the one that's right in front of Irisgeth. Oops, that's a d12. Um, he hits that one as well, and it takes seven damage. He's gonna use his archer's eye ability to do an extra d10. He's gonna do extra nine. So he did 16. seven plus nine, so 16. Um, that one's almost dead, but still alive. Okay. Um, goblins. There are three left. Uh, those goblins are in fire surface, which does some damage. Let me check that really quick. Um, fire, when you first enter a five foot area surface or start your turn on one, take 1d4 damage and become burning. Uh, now they're on fire. Uh, can you roll a d4 for me, Colton? Because I lost my d4 to the war. Actually, I actually have this one. One, cool. Um, that goblin oh, takes one. Four. All of those ones take one. And they're gonna move away from the fire sphere uh, and they're gonna kinda go back here by this other goblin that way. Oh, they're still blinded. <laughs> right? They might walk into the fire. <laughs> oh, shit. They're going to move away from the fire. Yeah. In th That one's going to go towards the wall this way. This one? Yep. That one's going to go this way. They just want away from the fire and then end their turns. 
That's it. And they're no longer blinded. Now they're no longer blinded. Like, ah. I can see! They could have walked into the oven. You know. uh, the gnolls are going to feel go. it. Uh, those gnolls, that I one know. takes 1d4 fire damage. I need to write that down somewhere that I uh, Roll another d4 for me. Another d4. Oh, man. Jump. Four. Uh, four. That one is almost dead, but uh, not dead yet. Uh, those two are uh, just going to surround Erisketh. Uh, if you can move them for me. These two? Yeah, those two. They're going to move away from the flaming sphere. Ooh. They're going to surround Erisketh. And then they're all going to attack him. <clears throat> uh oh. No, oh, don't die. You're so sexy. <laughs> um, okay, that is one, two, four, six, eight attacks. I'm just going to oh, roll. Wow. 8d20. You know, I'm really glad that I'm not there. His AC is 18. Oh, Their bonus to hit is 4. So they need a 14 to hit. 1, 2, 3, crit, 4 oh. hits. 4 hits and a crit. That is uh, a d4 piercing damage. So uh, 4, 5d4 plus. The plus is going to be killer. 5d4 plus. 3 or something. Uh, it's 2. So two. Um, plus So plus eight. 8. Just the plus 8 would take me down. Erisketh <laughs> takes 21 damage. Ooh. Oh. How's he looking? Not even bloodied. Okay. He's got some levels on us. <laughs> him, him and Ollie. That's valid, valid. Yeah. Guys. Um, well, I don't think I can beat a 30 AC, um, potentially higher, so I'm going to... 5% um, chance. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Let's shoot this guy. All right, go for it. Oh, the statue is in the way, unfortunately. That big-ass statue is, is right there. What statue? Where are you standing? Where is the statue? Sorry. This right here, is, this is where the statue is. Oh, well, I see where he's standing. Where are you? There? Yeah. I'm going to give him half cover. What so he's about plus this two guy? Easy. You can see that guy. I'll shoot that guy. Okay. Okay, that's... um. 18 plus 5, no, plus 6, because my bow is plus 1, so whatever that is, 18 plus 5. Uh, 24, I mean 23. Yeah. 23 is going to hit. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'll just be a normal D8 plus. You going to give me damage? Yes. Okay, yeah. Sahar? Um, she is going Nine. to, I think, risk the opportunity Nine. attack. Okay. And she's just going to um, move towards, um, let's see, make sure that I have the movement for this. Dead. Oh, sorry, friend, I thought that was your... Yeah, that's... That's enough. I can get to him with spare. He is not going to opportunity to take I thought it might have something to do with his plus ten right there. Oh, he, he attacked. I was Darn. like, maybe I, I can... I didn't risk it because I was afraid. That's fair. Um... She's going to. You to place? She's gonna hit this guy. Keep okay, his focus on me. Well, it's good. Actually, sorry. Let me let me read my protector thing. When another creature see within five feet of you is hit by it. Okay, okay. So the important thing is that my buddy, the gif, is next to me within five feet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attack this guy. Go for it. Uh, twenty three to hit. Twenty three hits. The null. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then I will unarmed strike. Mm-hmm. As a bonus action. Um, 19? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, very low issue. They're naked. They're naked? Yep. Oh, it's because they climbed their way out of something. Yeah, that they, they little butt cheeks are out. <laughs> oh, the clap of their ass They're covered cheek. in, like, blood. They kind of look like, like a newborn baby. Oh. Where like, the areas around, like, their, their armpits and, like, neck are all white. Oh. You guys ever seen a newborn baby? Cute. I have. Like in real life. Like in real life. You could go Google one right now. <laughs> uh, six I think points of damage. I think and then... Um, Is that to the one... That's to the one on the left? Yeah. That one already took fire yeah, damage? Yeah. That one's dead. Okay, can I do my unarmed strike against this one? Yes. Okay. That's called uh, Vernix. That's going to be five. Hmm. Vernix. Yep. 
Uh, five damage to the other one. Yeah. Keeps your skin moisture. Uh, that one also took fire damage. That one is, he has one hit point. <laughs> so close. He's so close. So close. Okay. okay. Uh, Maybe he'll give up. Yeah. Bait is next. Bait's going after these goblins. Um, can you measure to make sure she can move there? Her movement speed is... You have that. 60 feet. She can 100% make it there. We love that. Um, she runs there. She is going to attack both goblins. Um, she hits them both. They're both dead. They both turn into gnolls. Okay. Iris gets turn. Uh, he is going to, um, he kind of looks at you. You come over and you kill two of the gnolls, um, as he just got, like, hit by a bunch of them. And he, he, uh, he kind of gives you a pretty determined look. He doesn't say anything. No. But there's something in his eyes. So yeah. he says, like, You're kind of glad you have, you, you have his back. Yeah. Uh, and then he is going to... What do you say? Uh, One of my perks is back to back. The giant flaming spear. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't care about that. Someone walks up to him. Yeah. yeah. He's so going to make two silvered scimitar attacks, and then he is going to use his bonus action to do another silvered scimitar attack. So three attacks. Look. All I'm saying is that I also blinded Hit. all those fools, and there's Miss. nothing there. There's no respect. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he misses that, se- that those last well, two he attacks. Hit the, he hit the guy with the one hit point. He does. He's dead. We love that. Uh, yeah. Anastasia. Oh, fuck. I keep uh. grabbing the wrong one. I think it's <laughs> part of the mini. Okay. Okay. okay, okay oh, okay. he's giving him a little tap. Fun with there. You've got him to deal with. <laughs> He's just sitting there healing. It looked Don't like he lie. was going to slap him on the butt. <laughs> He's like, come here. Come here. <laughs> it's like, it's great job. <laughs> yeah. Get in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if he was wearing like Lizelle's armor. Yeah. Dude, her ass is kind of out in her armor. It's pretty crazy. Those gifts need that mobility. Yeah. Okay. He's not, though. He's, he's, got he's, he's got a lot of armor. That's cool. Dude, Thanks. That's not a good spot. Um... Do I see a dragon egg in here? No. Damn. That's good. I can't help but notice good that breakfast. Caius stayed away from him. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ollie might not be in range. <laughs> might just be in range. Oh. I think we're fine. I, th- I don't think he'll take it. Okay. Um. All right. Bonus action. I can move this thing. I can bump it into something. Okay. Um. Or someone. Um. How's this knoll looking? Uh. He hasn't taken any damage. Gotcha. How far can I move? That? I I know what I want to do. I just need to confirm how far I can move it. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to slam that goblin no, no, in the no. wall. I'm going to move it to okay. here. Okay. Right? So I imagine it creates a fire surface all the way down. Yes, it yeah. does. And then Is it here? I'm going to do this. Uh, what are you doing? So I'm moving it down, yeah. and then I'm, oh, circ- he has I'm literally to go. encircling him fire. Encircling in flame? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, no. I can do that, right? Yeah, I can just move it up to 30 feet, yeah. and then I'll bump him. <laughs> so you just <laughs> wham, and then like, yeah. create fire at, you're just up there just like, fucking die. <laughs> he the needs goblin, to make, uh, the, the spear stays not. up against the goblin, the right. goblin, I'm just gonna let you hit him. You hit him, and it <laughs> it hits it him into the wall. Takes fire damage. He's so dead. You, he slammed into the wall, and it literally like, it's like when you kill a bug, and then you like, you like, squish your foot, like you, you like, know. move your foot, he's like, <laughs> into the wall <laughs> and then blah, turns into a knoll but he's still like almost pinned up against the wall he's uh, on fire um, um, and then with my action with mm-hmm. my bonus action uh, I'm gonna fire oh. <clears throat> my man's has a 30 AC right now doesn't he yes you know I think it's what, 31 though? why is it 31 cause didn't you get didn't she get a 20 earlier and it didn't hit no, she got 19. Oh, he needs to make a deck save. Acid splash. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I wish He's like, haha. Oh. <laughs> Can he even move? He's in a save. board stand. He's, he's, he's all just got to take it. Yeah. He be, he be doing this. <laughs> I so badly wish I had magic missile. Yeah. Just a- <laughs> Eight. Oh. <laughs> he takes six acid damage. <laughs> 
Uh, nice. Um, you lob acid at him, and he just like poof, coats him, and he's like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. he can't do. He just has to watch me throwing acid at him from the sky. <laughs> we love that. Oh my god, that is so uh, dumb. That's turn. Okay. We got some options here. Let's see. Bless you. Bless you. Stay in there. Big bless. bless okay. Up. Start of his next turn. Uh, his AC is no longer 30. Oh. That's nice. Um, he is going to... Uh, oh, he's got Ridge. Ollie right next to him. Oh, he just wants to kill Ollie and not me? Uh, oh, you're right there, huh? I am. Oh. Yeah, he's going to move at you. Cool. Ollie's going to get an opportunity to attack. Cool, 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 cool. Ollie, can you hit, please? He hit, like, Ollie got an 11. Um, uh, he's going to use his bonus action to war cry as oh. he walks over towards you, just <laughs> as uh, he runs over at you. He gains uh, temporary hit points. Shit. Oh. He keeps getting hell. It's three, Stop four it. Four plus three. Three, how? What now? He gains. Um, Stop it. Just yeah. stop. Yeah, get some help. Get some help. 11 temporary hit points. Okay. Uh, that was some help for him, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and then he is going to uh, make two attacks uh, against you with his black iron greatsword. Um, so, what this guy has is he has a shield. Uh -huh. That is a... You know what? No, never mind. Yeah. You didn't tell us after we kill. Um, 15? Yep. 16? Yep. Uh, I guess. What did I ask? Uh, um, Hellish Rebuke. He is using one hand right now because he has a shield out. Oh, oh. dexterity saving throw. Yes, please. 18. Oh, how does that count? Uh, that's 20, so 10. His temporary hit points. He has one temporary hit point left. No. Um, I thought you said he got 11. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought I did 20. <laughs> Guys, we don't know how to do math here. We don't. Right. I, um, I even have it for so you. I'm so sorry. Put him in between Caius and Ollie. His, he has a 10 foot reach with his sword. Oh, that's um, good for me. Uh, you take 22 slashing damage. Oh. Unconscious. It's Ollie's turn. Uh, Ollie is going to... <laughs> I should have stayed back. No, 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 I, I, I can do that. Okay, I was like... <laughs> by one hit point. Okay. So close. Ollie's only got three of these, and he can't remake them until he gets back to Baldur's Gate. What are they? He takes an arrow, he has it knocked, <gasps> has a glass end on the end of it, and he fires it over at you, Caius. You gain 2d4 plus two hit points. Oh, he has a healing potion arrow. We have a arrow. pack of them. He shot me He's mercy. <clears throat> yeah, but... Then it's an attack roll, so now he can do another attack at um, nice. oh, at what's his name? That's fun. Um, since, so it's well, action, well, since it's part of the action, does Caius regain oh, full? Oh yes. Huh? But it's not a yeah. So, hang on, you gain ten. Ten? Yes, not twelve. Okay. Hit points. Or He's hit an points. NPC. Um, he rolled disadvantage to okay. range shoot uh 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 Uzeron and got double fifteens. Um, he has plus six. Twenty-one is gonna hit. He does eight piercing damage. He's gonna use Eagle Eye, which is his bonus action. He does twelve piercing damage to Uzra. Gets an arrow in there. We like that. Uzra we like is still that. bloodied. Um, there's no goblins left. It is the Knolls. Um, that is <laughs> okay. Do you have the potion of heroism? Drink it already. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Why are you only at 10 health? Me? Seems to be honest, it says you're only at 10 health. Maybe it hasn't updated. Um, I'm at, okay. That, that's what. Because I'm at that's 10. Caius is at. Caius was unconscious and then healed 10. I don't know what's going on. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Guys, I'm so sorry. I was at 21 and I took. Just to explain, healing potions when you use your action to drink them do 2d4 uh, plus 4. Um, oh. I'm ha all these don't do that. Uh, but I let it be 10 instead of 12. Anyways, oh. this knoll over here is going to take 1d4 fire damage. Mm -hmm. um, it takes four. Cool. Uh, cool. And then he is going to... 
Oh. I guess run over to Sahar. That's not He's gonna walk through fire. He's gonna go that way. At, less, at least fire as possible. Well, I kinda can, fucking can't. So he's just gonna go to Iriska. Does he get to roll, does he have to take damage again for running through is more he, fire? Uh, I don't know if even if he works. goes this way, he's gonna touch fire again. Yeah, he's gonna go around, like, over that pillar right there. Mm -hmm. And then get right there. Yeah. Um, let me look. I didn't know if that was, like, a tall When you first enter a five-foot area surface, yes, yeah, so he takes a 1d4 again. <laughs> he takes one more damage. Uh, and then he's going to attack, uh, Irisketh. Um, one hit. Okay, wait. Ha I'm gonna use protector. Go for it. Sorry, I did two attacks. I'm do. I'm going very Where fast. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna give them a bonus to my target's AC. Okay. Um, so plus three, but okay. all the rest of the attacks are made at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. So I'm back to back. So I'm gonna restart. So protector. Right. So now, uh, uh, the first attack, he has a plus three to AC. Mm -hmm. And then the next attack has disadvantage. Uh, when you use your protector ability on another creature, attack rolls against them have disadvantage for two rounds. They lose this benefit if you're no longer within five feet of them or knocked prone. But then he also has plus three to AC because of another perk you have? So protector, when another creature you can see within five feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to grant a bonus. So dis and plus three to AC. Love it. Um, okay, so... Oh God. Iris gets... AC is 21. <laughs> oh, good. Um, with disadvantage... Miss. That was a crit. Good. And miss. Both miss. Good. Uh, Kai's. No, sorry. These two, and then another two at him, because that one's right there. Miss. That That's a 16 with disadvantage. What is their bonus? Four? Still, still good. misses. Good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, okay, then those two attack. Uh, attack. <laughs> Uh, that is one hit, two hits, she takes ten piercing damage. Ooh. Eight piercing damage, sorry. Still a noob, not as much. She's not even, she's not bloodied. Alright, Kai's. Uh, I'm gonna stand up. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm sorry, that's stays there. I'm back up. Okay. He's gonna opportunity attack you. Oh, because it's reach. Sorry, yeah, it's reach. Yep, yeah, he can attack. He can attack me. I forgot he had reach. Eighteen. Yeah. Eleven piercing damage. Slash uh, damage. Oh, <clears throat> um, That's my turn. You still you can use an action or a bonus action. I'm fine. All right, Sahar. Um, she's gonna be like, Eriskev can handle this, right? I can. I can also help over here. No, that, that's totally fine. I I think she's not looking at that. Why am I doing this? Where's the Sharpie? <laughs> okay. Um, if anything, she's just going to like move a little to get a cleaner line of sight yep. on him, and she's going to throw a, a okay. radiant bolt at I him. I meant to say this during your turn, but I didn't because I already told you, but now I'm going to say it before you do your thing. Uh -huh. If there's anybody within kind of your line of sight like Ollie is right now with a ranged attack, you're good, but if you roll a natural one, you will hit that person. Well, Ollie can take it. You know what? He can. He'll also take one of my gold <laughs> stars, but that's okay. <laughs> He's like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, and then she's she will uh, roll that yes, against him. Still right there. Hold the alchemy jug to keep you comfort. That's Drink the a, mayonnaise. Yeah. That's a natural two. Well, so you didn't. You. I don't hit anything. <laughs> it's like this. He's like, whoa. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. We'll try again. Um. Uh, bonus action. We'll just do it two more times. Okay. Uh, oh, that's that not gonna hit. Done. I know, right? Uh, but 19. 19 doesn't hit, I assume. Sorry, unfortunately it doesn't. No. Oh, that's gonna be a big risk then if I do that. Okay. Okay. Um, gotta... Bait. She's going to attack that knoll. She crits. Uh, uh, come on. She does 14 damage. She didn't kill it. Uh, oh, then so a claw, close. Then uh, Claw hits, and she kills that gnoll on the left. Hell yeah. Uh, Erisketh is going to attack uh, the gnoll on the left, the one that is really badly damaged from fire. Um, it's a natural one. Get your coin. Thanks. 
Um, eight is going to hit, and then he'll use his bonus action to attack the other one, which also hits. He kills that one on the right that took the fire damage, um, and the one on the left he deals um, 13 damage to. It's nearly dead. Uh, Anastasia. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? I picked up the wrong one. Oh. Oh boy! Shocking grasp. <laughs> okay, uh, you have a, you you have really big advantage. Yeah, advantage. Actually, advantage and plus five. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Twenty-eight does it. He takes a D eight damage. He's vulnerable to lightning damage. All right, he takes four. Okay. I was fifteen feet up. Okay. Doesn't have reactions. He already did it. Still doesn't. It's like it's your really doesn't have reactions. <laughs> My strength is thirteen. Mm -hmm. That means I can lift times fifteen, nearly two hundred pounds. I can use the rest of my flight to go by and kind of like sweep by. I want to pick up Caius and get in the air. Okay. Get this guy, get Caius away from him. You can do that. Um, okay. What exactly is your carrying capacity? Uh, it's 13 times 15, so 130, and then 13 times 5, <laughs> Sorry. Um, 130, and then 15, 65, 195. How heavy is Caius? Oh, no. Are you under 195? I don't carry much. Yeah, probably. Okay, then you can, you, what is your, sorry, what is your, um, what's your encumber? <sighs> I don't know, dude. It doesn't tell me on yeah, this does. what my... Where does it tell you? It tells you right here. Oh. Uh, um, 65? 65. Okay, so then you you can, but he at half speed. So you can pick him up and go, but your speed will be half. I can still get a few feet. I, still, I can still get in the air. Not much, but I can still get in the air. Okay. All right, I'll take it. All right. If I go, if I grab... I think I might be in range, but I so will went, use myself to cover. Because I went down, you went down, down 15, over 5 to grab, and I can go up, I think, 5 or 10, right? And uh, would have my speed? Yeah, so... So uh, I could go up 5, I guess, okay. which would get me almost out of his range. You're up 5. Yeah. Okay, it's his turn. Uh, he is going to um, try to get his recharge stuff back. Um, he gets his, uh, he doesn't get his Horde Cull, but he gets his Bulwark okay. Stance. That's fine. <sighs> he's going to attack Ollie twice. Uh, one of those attacks, he's going to make a Lacerate. Um, really? Ollie? Interesting. Uh, he crits Ollie. Holy oh, fuck. fuck. Um, Ollie takes, uh, 16 slashing damage. He's okay. Uh, and then he's go it's double the dice. What am I doing? Another four. Um, and he's going to hit him again with a lacerate. Um, he slashes at the turtle's target's vital points. Um, if he hits and deals damage, he's also going to be bleeding. Um, 17, which hits. Um, he's going to take 11 slashing. And Ollie is bleeding. Um, let me look up the bleeding condition really fast. Bleeding condition! Um, at the start of his turn, for each level bleeding he has, he rolls his hit dice and he takes damage equal to the roll. Um, Ollie's hit dice is a d8. Start of his turn. Takes three damage. Um, and he is just going to attack this dude with his short swords. Uh, he's going to move up into five feet and attack him twice. Um, he hits once. Um, well, actually, that hit is a 18 plus he hits. Uh, he deals eight piercing damage to him. Um, Uzran is looking really rough. All of the gnolls go next. There's just two. Um, did, I, did Sahar go? You went, yes. Right? Yeah, because you go at the top of the round. Mm -hmm. um, Miss on Erisgeth. 
<laughs> big miss on your scab. Okay. Um, that's one hit on that's one hit on uh, on bait. bait, which is four damage. Honestly, if bait dies, bait dies. <laughs> bait is still not bloodied. Yep. Damn it. Um, top of the round, Caius, it's your turn. Uh, roll a death save, and then you have you can make a bonus action or a movement at half speed, but you are being carried. Um, and you can also make an action, but you will fail a death save. Um. Take one of these potions that I have. Okay. You use your bonus action? Yeah. Alright. What is that? Is that two ones or is that two fours? No. It's like leaning you, against my other D. How did you do that? How did you cock did you that? <laughs> it's because this is a like big oh, shape. It's one of those Damn. Alright. That's funny. Oh, it's two. Oh, no, it's one and a four. Oh, come on, D&D Beyond. Please don't do this right now. Yeah, D&D Beyond's been... It's Saturday well. night. No, it just, Their servers can't handle it. it What's he... It's their servers. Or stop playing D&D, guys. Just guys, <laughs> <laughs> right guys, now. Guys, can you stop playing D&D? We're trying to load our we're, hit we're, points. We're trying to stream. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, I guess I'll shoot him. Can I All shoot right. from up here? Um, I can angle you. While she's carrying you with your bow? Yeah. Yeah, you'll have disadvantage, though. One, because she's carrying you. Two, because you are technically within five feet. <laughs> You're within his range. Oh, yeah. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> so just I one could disadvantage. I just Eldritch Blast him. Yeah. It's uh, still disadvantage. Yeah. I could swing it out. Uh, whatever. Just arms of a dark. I'll just... And kill Anastasia. <laughs> I don't have arms if I don't. I know, I know you don't. I don't. <laughs> um, I use my coin to get a, a, a flat sure. roll. Cool. Um, the oh, and I, my heroism doesn't go away. My bless from my potion. That's true. Um, uh, twenty twenty one plus twenty seven to hit. Cool. You got him. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do this. Like you dead? Got him? I don't know. Let's find out. What? What is this? What? What did you cast, by the way? Or did you just shoot him hit with I'm an arrow? I'm just shooting him with the lightning arrow. Lair- oh fuck, a lightning arrow. That's okay. good. That's good. Yeah. Um, Haven't you been shooting him with lightning arrows this whole time? Yeah. I'm just. I, I I'm, you have I'm, a limited amount. Yes. I'm just well, making no, sure. Well, no, because does he have vulnerability to lightning? Yes. Yes. Um, it's actually that would be. That. that it wasn't um, anything about the amount. It was more that's, like oh. Um, eleven piercing and then um, uh-huh. ten lightning. That's already doubled. How do you kill him? Hell yeah! Um, nice. Had 18 hit points. Hmm. I don't know. I think he kind of <laughs> just, he's like covered in armor, right? Uh, yeah. Like, does he have like a, does he have like maybe like a little, like a little weak spot? Like, he's yeah, like, or he has like a T inner, like, like a Mandalorian armor, like on oh, his face. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's going right in there. You, so you're like Hell above yeah. him. Yeah. He has like these huge horns on his, on his, oh, on his fair. armor too. And, uh, he's looking up at you and that's his mistake. Um, as he looks up at you and you wake up, you literally knock a lightning arrow and you watch as his eyes go wide as you fire and it literally sinks into like his head and he steps back. Oh, his entire so body alights cool. with electricity. He's like cooked from the inside of his armor and then Ew. falls to the ground. That's gross. Um, he like tries to stay on a knee and then just falls and, and dies. Uh, Sahar, it's your turn. Okay, uh, she's gonna be like, oh good, that, that took care of that concern. <laughs> and she'll just swing around to, to help. All right, There's cool. Good. And uh, she will try to heat. Got it. Well, oh. you seem to be just fine then. Uh, also, yes, please. Put all Twenty-three all to hit. All of the fire is just here. Twenty-three hits. Okay. Uh, There's nothing really flammable in this room. The fire is uh, six points of damage. To the that that no. To that no. Dead. To that no. You uh. She you take your. Corsa. Yeah. She comes around and she just slams yeah. down the back. <laughs> Cracks his head right down. Dude, yeah. You, uh, uh, he's, he's trying to go back in. Irisketh is also just like, has stabbed him too. And you come over towards the back and you take, he, his knees go in for this, the brand new Null knees. And he just like. Just the fact that they hear. Just the fact that they hear. That was the last, that was the last thing you heard. Yeah. As he died. Uh, <laughs> is that the average? Uh, I guess she could move in potentially bonus action. This Null. <laughs> yeah. Mia, you still have the sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, this is forty feet. She okay, has forty okay. feet of movement. Um, 
Go for it. Sorry, I had bait go. Bait rolled double twos and missed the null. <laughs> Eight plus five. Uh, that's what? Thirteen. Thirteen, 13 uh, hits. How about four damage? It, that one is still alive. Yes, yeah, valid. Um, and then Irisketh is going to shoot a telekinetic bolt at it. Please do. That's cool. It's dead. Good. Oh, yippee. <clears throat> As the... Go, uh, I'm sitting down, Emma. As the last null is killed, uh, everything goes sort of quiet in the room. There's only a bit a couple of goblins who um, uh, uh, are, are just like, ah! As their bodies yeah. have been like torn open um, and uh, eventually falls to silence. Uzron is no longer moving, just fell to the ground, uh, weighted underneath his armor, and uh, everything falls eerily silent within this cavern. Right. The flaming sphere will fade, and as it does, Anastasia kind of floats to the ground with Caius. Mm -hmm. Do I have anything on him? Not a heights person. No. He does. Mm -hmm. He has. He has a lot of stuff on him. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm just loading. I'm loading the thing that we do before break. Well, it was either that or uh, a risk at home deciding to behead you. Yeah. He did say he was gonna kill me. Exactly. <sighs> we're all uh, accounted for. We're all good. Yep. Yeah. That could have been much worse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all my fingers and toes. Nice. There you go. That's all that matters. Most of them. And with that, we're going to go on break. But before we do that, I want to give a huge, enormous, gigantic shout out to our members <gasps> and our patrons who are supporting us on patreon.com slash arcane arcade and youtube.com slash c slash arcane arcade slash join. You can just hit the join button down below, though, if you really want to. Uh, unless you're on um, iOS, apparently. Yeah, yeah, If you're yeah. on iOS, uh, I put that link in. <laughs> it literally, do I, I was curious. I tried it on my phone. It yeah. literally doesn't show up on that, iOS. Well, it's kind so. of a new thing. So, uh, big shout out to SETI, Will, Ali S, Expo 77, uh, KFP Guardsman, I think. This one cuts off a lot more than, than Patreon does. Your Throbbing Member, North Horizon, Keela Salai, Danny A, The Red Duncan 64, The Aurora, Sad Snorlax 007, Bingus Wingus, Gamer Not Found, Greyhound Rush, White Weasel 95, Chris C, Barden, King Firehammer, Pavi, really Sala, Panda Knight, Vox Ratio, Kalanth Aralis, Kalanth Aralis, Corvide, Elder Akuma, Caleb Lee, Stormsaw, Ethan, Bren the Brain, James Riggs, Ethan Bishop, Batty Bell, I Oblivion, Jack K, Joel Mutal Multari, Ginja Fett, Birdo, Tree Man, Severez, Thaniel B, Shouse 49, Blaze the Arcane Addict, Dreaming Mage, Magorna M, A Wild Jam, Axel, Mad Harrier, Moche Negro 101, Agent Immortal, Henry Scorp, Sullivan, Sol at anti terminated propaganda, <laughs> uh, Lord Martarius, Nerdy Zookeeper, Revan the Fire Mage, Ghostly Unicorn, and John Bubeck. Thank you so much. Wait, is that all of them? Ro I'm just making sure. Yes. That thank you so much to all of our members. And also a giant shout out to our patrons who are supporting us over on patreon.com. You guys are also the best. We love you so much. You guys have been here for so long supporting us yes. throughout the years. So big shout out to Randy Wapperome. <laughs> Randy Wapperome? Randy Wapperom, LST, Tristan Magoonlet, Soup, Maldor the Vod Squad God, James K, Little Piggy Dentsu, Tar, Amazing Roleplay Enjoyer, May the Force Be With You, Riley's Rangers, May the Trans Horse Girl Homie Say Hi, X Daedric Assassin X, we know, or Katek, Fuck, I Cried With Your Letter, Jacob, Love Albert, Love You Too, Aww. Albert, Madam Seti, Ask Me About Why You Should Not Play Shadowrun 6th Edition, <laughs> why? BK, Azarian 107, I Oblivion Again, that's, whoa, oh. you get to be again if you're on the on the patrons, Illiterate Moogle, Captain Dadbod, Dry Digging Turd Cutters Since First Hair, Nexus, Your Mom, Cyberrock7, Tasty Halloumi, Joe Scamo, Arf, it's Gwen. Ghost, Brittany Anderson, Leon Kennedy's Milkers, Oops, Prez, it's a Gale thing. <laughs> Oops, Prez. That's what you said in our Baldur's Gate playthrough. Remember that? In our first game? I'm going to explain this one. Uh, we were playing Baldur's Gate in, in the one that's uploaded to the channel right now, the first episode, and we were talking about if Gale pulls out or not, and uh, we were like, I don't, we were saying pull out Gale of that hole, and we were like, does Gale pull out? And Colton said, he doesn't have to. He just goes, Oops, Prez. 
Oh. And I laughed really hard at that. Um, I, I, I don't remember saying I that. I was <laughs> dead, dude. That was so funny. Dave the Grand, Joshua Cordell, Lego Builder 899, hoping the cast and crew enjoy a nice game and of cool... <laughs> Hoping the cast and crew enjoy a nice game and a cool, refreshing Cerveza Cristal. Nolf not want, willing to funnel money through a YouTube account, missing out on an hour of podcast. Oh Luzario God. Hines, Tax Collector, Dana the Lake, Blooming Fruit Loop, ML Wolf, Brill, Dragon Lardy, Army of the Drive Through, Protect Trans Homies, Sick Joy, J Guy 77, Shista, Sign the L, Sandman, Tree Man, Cast Suggestion, Join Members, DC 15 Wiz. Uh, Austin Stowell, why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food? Avad, hot eat the food. Red beard, one sack, one load. Death wolf, majestic whale acorn. Next XP to level three. Vid Chad DM meets sorcerer. Small town eye care. The pinky life, light pinky the pure osmium. Bob said I made his name over the long to make the cast read it for no reason other than his own amusement. So <laughs> Or telling danger, drink water, you thirsty people. The diabetes, big hoss, keep the goat, Sophia, Thorin. You know, I don't do jokes for you guys. I don't do them for Marcy when she starts watching you. Uh, wow. Okay, Fist Dormammu is here. If anyone has any mayonnaise, he needs to make 200 sandwiches and needs two <laughs> gallons oh, of mayo. We got, got you. you. <laughs> Argus Fallen, Alice Lilybottom, Shuriken John, in the randomized game, played a goblin jester bard that believes he's a Nilbog god causing chaos. I love that. I had to resist putting a Nilbog in this in, the, in, in here. Uh, Barden, but here I am trying to thank the cast and crew, and there just has to be a new person in shaking my damn head. <laughs> Was that from yesterday? Barden, but here I am trying to thank the cast and crew, and there just has to be a new person in shaking my damn head. Oh, it's right. because yesterday. Barden did that oh, thing for, yesterday. That, yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that, that's funny. K. Zach Reenies, Zach was asleep leading up to yesterday's stream, and Marion Art, so I'll say it again, he sat on my urd till I'm in. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, that's funny. Fancy Arthur, Thread Store, Mimi H, Will Pratt, possibly related to Chris Pratt, Pimp of the Hood, Mama Love and Papa Joy, and... Josh, Josh Travis. See you guys in wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. We got a donation earlier from Riley's Rangers for $20, and um, they say, just wanted to say thank you for all the work you've been doing. I'm usually a VOD watcher, but I, but I have found more time for live stuff like this, and it really brightens my day, makes my week from hell and overnight shifts bearable. Thank you so much. So thank really you. really appreciate you guys. All right, um, look at that. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Searching in the dark, trusting every clue I found. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner of these woods is hollow. I can't see.
I've been searching in the dark Trusting every clue I've found But the truth has not been told Cause every corner of these woods is hollow I can't see Take hey. it back, take it back, take it back. Take it back. What do you mean, take it back? My little, my little, my little sound, I was muted. No. Oh, what did you do? Uh, uh. <laughs> Emma thought that was Why? <laughs> Thanks, Emma. I like that Colton did it, and then you had to mimic it. You were like, yep. Uh. I realize that I do that, and I become very hyper aware of it. Nice. It and that. It also be that this is what it feels like to chew five gum, and it's the print. It's uh -huh. Prince Harry. He Whoa. goes, <laughs> <laughs> What are you? <laughs> you don't know. What? <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm derailing this entire oh thing. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Prince Philip. Prince. I was going to say, does he just die? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prince Philip died. <laughs> he did die. All right. Um, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Um, What's off in the Uh, the guy trying to make the train noise. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so Emma said, do you remember the TikTok where the guy is trying to imitate the train voice, which is a TikTok that Emma train and I, voice. it's obscure that we would laugh at all the time, where this guy is just, there's a dude doing a train sound, and he's like, he's like, how? And he goes, oh, I <laughs> like, just can't do it, and it's really funny. Um, we, I re so I've been watching a lot of Good Mythical Morning lately, and I I've really- I've been watching Ear Biscuits. Funnily enough, oh really? Is there other, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's I. I was going to watch it, and then I uh, I didn't have the emotional bandwidth for it, and I was like, I'll come back to this, but that's it's fair. very good. Anyways, um, I, I I Emma needs we can hear Emma fine. We, yeah. She needs a mic. She's be our Stevie. Yeah, she's over there just like yeah. saying cool things. Anyways, um, we left off with you guys killing everything. Good job. <laughs> Accomplished. Accomplished indeed. I'm really tired. I don't know if you can tell or not. <laughs> this, this is great. This Little is prime Colton. Place. We get Colton tired, and it becomes uh, Colton prime? it becomes uh, he be, yeah he goes to prime mode, um, and the silliest things happen. Um, anyways, um, we come back. You guys have killed uh, uh, um, Urzon and Uzron and all of his. You all right? Yep. Uh, and all of his goblins, which Uzi. turned into gnolls. You are left alone in this room with all of them dead, he he's smoking from the him. electrified shot that you shot into his head, and uh, the statue of uh, Yanagi just <sighs> looming, waiting. So, <laughs> so, Anastasia is probably still fairly close to Kaius. So, like, she's, like, let Caius down, yeah. but she keeps kind of, like, a, the hand around, and she, and, he, and she goes, So did he say the Chosen? Yeah, he did. Something about that. Does he got anything on him? Uh, yeah, he has his uh, he has his uh, black iron greatsword. Yeah, I can't use that. He has his armor. Okay. He has a couple of javelins. Huh. I'm looking right oh, here. Yeah, it javelins. says, I'm really uh, glad he did not "Kill Caius. Them. He's the chosen." Yeah, no, he didn't. Yeah, that in yeah. particular, Caius. Yeah, I don't know what that means. He has a diary, insight it's just check. not on him. Okay, 
I'm also going to roll insight. That. Sorry, Caius. Why? You're good at insight. Why are you rolling like shit? I want to know. Better. What'd you roll? Caius. 19. Um, you're not Caius. Sorry. Dirty 20. Did you flip a coin for that? Mm, no. Oh, yeah. I did. What'd you roll, Sahar? Uh, not great. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Caius, he looks at both of you, and he says he has no idea what's going on, and you don't immediately sense any sort yeah. of, like... Subterfuge. Yes, yeah, subterfuge or deceit within his voice, but I think the two of you do know him to a point now to... As the narrator here, I yeah. think both <laughs> Sahar and Anastasia, there's there's doubt. You cannot read it on him, Yeah, but... That doesn't mean you can't feel that way. It's not that it erases suspicion. It just yeah. doesn't exactly. arise anymore. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You said he has a diary? Jacob? Or was that a joke? <laughs> He's playing his I'm own. curious He's about playing this. Okay, Craig right sent now. me Carlac fan art. Um, oh. uh, Craig also said Cadman hits Can the I gritty. See? Oh, um, she shows back up. Was that? Was that? I can't move my PC. You're just gonna have to. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Anyways, did he draw I'm gonna that? go to that statue. Huh? Did he draw that? Uh, no. No. I know. Still very good though. It was a screenshot of Procreate. So and there was no context. So I thought Craig drew it. I was like, whoa. Anyways, sorry. You said Can when you said he has a diary on him. Were you joking or? I said he has a diary. It's just not on him. I want to go to that cool statue. Uh, you were at the statue. There was a question somebody asked, and I ignored you to message back Craig. I think it was, it was the, the diary. Statue, in the diary. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It was statue and diary. Yes, but you are correct, uh, um, Mia. Yeah. It doesn't erase suspicion, but right. Caius is, the way he said it didn't give you anything. Right, right, right. We have anything because at the... If you knew you were the chosen one, that would be okay. I didn't know I was the chosen one. Do we, do we have anything at the, at at the, the statue? statue? Um, you walk like over towards it. You don't, shit. Nope. I mean, there's, there's the bloody handprints. Uh, it's it's dripping. It's pooled, coagulated blood that's um, then uh, seeped down the side of it, but nothing of importance really here. Gee. Goblins didn't really have much on them either. The confusing part is just that, like, you seem to serve something, like, that gives you ice stuff. Mm -hmm. Right? It doesn't seem very, like, gnoll-like. No. That's a different guy. Yeah. Irisketh walks up to you so hard and says, You are a defender. I've been called worse things. You fight admirably. You do too. You took a lot of hits back there. Are you good? I'm fine. Do you need a moment to breathe? I... no. Okay. Do you? I mean, sometimes after a fight, I want to take a, take a moment, you know, patch Goodness. up my wounds. You know, suture them. You know, you just like, always be like this one. And like she <laughs> puts her hand in one of his, like, wounds. Oh. He's like, uh, yeah, chuk. yeah, like one of those. Uh, I've been taught to withstand pain. Sometimes preparedness means knowing when the next fight you're getting into will kill you, due to not tending wounds properly. Precisely, I am always ready for a fight. <clears throat> and uh, how you doing, Puddle? No, not here. What? I'm sorry, Chacon Puddle. Stop. Do not tell her. I'm not gonna tell her. Do not tell anybody else. I'm not gonna tell her. What did Fletch tell you? She told me everything. Everything? Yeah. She's a liar. I don't think she is. All right, everybody's alive, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's go check on the kid and see if we can, well, find a way out of here. Sure. Um, <clears throat> uh, Do I get a gold star for keeping my mouth shut? Uh, no. I should uh, take away your gold stuff. For you can't take them. <laughs> I keep them in my notebook. <clears throat> uh, I'll go check on the kid. Why don't the rest of you keep looking around? Okay. Yes, sir. Um, well, because Ollie, the last <clears throat> time you went off by yourself, like that I'm going to come back this time. I'll be very safe. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I'll send. I'll send Remy with you. That's hey, perfect. Remy. Thank you. Get back up, bud. Who's Remy? A weasel? Yeah. It's... Is that a magic weasel? He's a magic weasel. All right then. Be very wary. He won't talk to you. Uh, <laughs> he won't, no, he won't. Talk to you. All right, Remy, let's go. He and won't uh, talk to he goes you. back. 
Um, like that's the issue. <laughs> don't worry. He won't talk to you. Um, I hate that fucking <laughs> Why? That was Colton. That yeah, was no, no, no. <laughs> You, uh... I will say, it is very obvious that Anastasia hates that fucking weasel. <laughs> so... He just hates weasels. Yeah, yeah. The, um... Oh, God, what was I saying? Uh, the... They go back... Oh, um... Bait, uh, is trying to siphon the souls out of the gnolls, but can't. Mm. Um, she's like, ah! Uh, you have to name the character. What, what do you mean? You don't know Nothing. what... You don't know really what happened? It's stupid. Hmm? You don't know what happened? Is that what you said? It's like the goblin souls are gone. Well, they probably gave their soul to uh, Unigu. Yeah, well. Is that what happens after you uh, die and you've given your soul to this? Yes. Abomination? Yes. Eternal damnation. Yeah, not worth it. You, uh, I you just run, think so. You run into something? Yes. Yeah. Can I have the gift? Yeah. And he kind of holds no. up and grabs no. his sword. <sighs> Our deal was goblins. Yeah, was this Our deal was goblins. He's, he kind of looks like one. No. Uh, he has a greater purpose He's than fired. most of us here. I have a, yes. Precisely correct. Yes. We need to find your egg. Right. Forgot. The egg is around here somewhere. Yes. So. Alright. I didn't get rid of that flaming spirit. No, I didn't. <laughs> the fire went out. <laughs> oh, still burning. Um, all right, where are we going? I'm going to throw it in the freaking bait. Uh, there's, I'll Why go is up that those uh, stairs over there, I think. <clears throat> I hate how hard it is for me. What? Not the, every time I hear the name, I think of something stupid. Yeah. She's Norman the master bait. bait. Norman oh. bait, master bait. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to reveal it. Um, there is a bunch of winding tunnels that way. That stairway goes up and up to the second level. Oh, never okay, mind so then. We don't want to go that I'll way. Just, I'll just—I'll pick a, a a pathway and if you I'll just, search. If you just stick to the left side wall. We'll eventually get somewhere. Okay. Isn't that how? Isn't that how you figure out mazes? You just stick to one wall and then. Yeah. You so this kind of all loops around. You go through a bunch of caverns and uh, different ways to go until eventually you uh, uh, go ahead and place yourselves kind of in that uh, cross section right, right here. There. Yeah, like right there. Uh, are we all placing or do you just need a marker for one of us right now? Uh, put your, all of yourselves all there. Of them? Okay. Then I don't want to be in the lead. I can be. We do not have, uh, do we have, uh, bait and, uh... You should. There, man. She was over no, there. no, I know. I, do, are they with death. us? Four. Are they with us is what I mean. Oh, I'll pick that up. Just toss it. All right, you have the alchemy jug of mayo. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. I thought you always catch things. <gasps> well, that was a D4. It's kind of hard to see. But the you're his weakness. Oh, I see. You know him. I do. Yes. Name, <laughs> Geth's name is... Iris. Uh, Iris. because I'm a monk right now. Every time I try to think of it, I think Ariolarthus, and I Aerial know that's not that's it. That's Icewind Dale. That is Icewind Dale. Oh, uh, fuck. The, okay, guys, I can't carry the alchemy jug. I <laughs> got it. You're I'm it's carrying, too much mayo. I'm carrying, like, I'm carrying like 20 pounds. I can carry it. All right. So was I. <laughs> Slung over with a... Yeah, my a, strength is 13. Oh, uh, mine's six. Slung with a... Slung? With a, with a jar full of mayo and a dream. I have a question for you, Jacob. Yeah. So all of the... <laughs> All of the spouts are mayo, but do the amount and consistency of which it pours remain the same as what the normal item would have been? So if I open what would have been the acid spout, will it give me eight ounces of mayo? <laughs> How much is the mayo? Is it eight ounces of mayo? Two gallons. Every single one is two gallons of mayo. We should start a sandwich shop. I was really hoping I could open the saltwater one and get 12 gallons of no. mayo. <laughs> that's, that's too much mayo. mayo. Also, I saw a chat message that said mayo is flammable, so... Oh. Is I don't it know. really? <laughs> Good luck. Mayo's flammable? Emma said it is. No. Oh. What? Whoa! Yeah. Oh yeah, they so, Emma said they drop a big hot ball in mayo and it uh, lights the whole thing on fire. Liquid, how, two well, gallons per minute. So what I'm hearing is it's perfect for the person with flaming spear that yes. can yes. fly. Yeah. Yes. To have. Yeah, does okay. raining mayo down? <laughs> Pass the Ring of fire. Uh, 12. 13. 15. 
Okay, Sahara. Yes. You, as everybody begins to make their way down this cavern, you hear rushing water. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of dampening all the other sound. You can just hear like, like not like really loud waterfall, but just like rushing water in the distance. Yeah. Um, echoing through the caverns. But on top of that, you hear snoring. Really loud uh. snoring. Like, mm. uh. Okay. A uh, creature, a creature, but had asleep. Can sense? Nope. Oh, a little bit. Kind of? It's that same sort of presence again. Uh, a little bit stronger, though. Something, no, like, kind of. Has this happened before? Yeah, earlier. Maybe it's the ones that turn Can't into turn. gnolls after they die. Probably don't expect it to look like one. <sighs> Which way? Um, she's going to point it it's out. It's going to the left there. To the left. You're going uh, into this opening. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should try to be a little stealthy in our approach. I'll be a little stealthy in my nice approach. Uh, roll stealth. Oh, Lord. I'll take the Urisketh has 20. disadvantage, unfortunately. That's fine. Urisketh, you don't need to come right now. When you can, you can stay no. I am perfectly stealthy. You might be, but your armor isn't. Roll persuasion. <laughs> also a natural 20 on my stealth. Whoa. And a 16 for 19 total on persuasion. He says, fine. Don't worry, you'll know if you need it. Um, and then uh, 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 Bait gets a 19 on stealth. Alright. Actually gets a 21 on stealth. Okay, Bait. Um, okay. I guess we're not using you for your namesake today. <laughs> uh, what did you roll, Sarah? Nine. Okay, what did you roll? 21. Okay, and what uh, did you roll? Natural 20, for okay. 20. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry, it's just always fun when my bonus is zero to say natural 20 for 20. It's, yeah. I don't know what's up about it. You guys stealth your way into the room, and on, uh, go ahead and move yourselves in there, except for Erosketh. Um, and in this room, you, you are still stealthed, um, as far as you know, you see. Put that guy laying down in there. Oh. Oh boy. He's sleeping. Uh, Emma, are we on board view? Yeah. Okay, just make it sure. You see a hill giant, huge, laying belly up. You can't see his head. His belly is just so huge, and it just rises and falls. This is where that sense is coming from for you, uh, 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 um, Caius. You notice that his hair is really long. There's like a mane growing, like on the back oh. of like his head and down his spine. Mm. He's asleep and doesn't seem to notice you guys. And there's like a pathway that way? Uh, yeah, it looks like there's a pathway that way. There's nothing in this room. It looks like there's stuff from the map. There's nothing in this room other than like blood splatters. Um, and a I lot of bones. Looks like it, a lot of food has been eaten in here. His entire face is just like nasty, uh. disgusting. Jacob. It's almost like crusted over in certain parts of like uh, like his neck and his mouth. A little piece of copper wire. Mm-hmm. I'm going to whisper a message to okay. Caius. Okay. And uh, it's just going to be, isn't this one that we wanted to go to initially? Yes, I think we chose wrong. Yes. Can we see stuff that's in that next room? Like, it looks like there's like a desk or a little... Uh-huh. Can we keep... Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I'll go with you over there. Yeah. You uh, make your way over. Um, Kai, so you notice on the ground that there's um, some footprints. They're very obvious. Mm-hmm. Um, the footprints don't really go into this back room. Is this blood here? Mm-hmm. Like, is that, where the, is that where the footprints are? Yes, it's like, okay. it's like various meats and blood that is stained footprints that go into the stream right there. Oh. Or like water that's rushing. Interesting. That way there looks to be like a door. The door is broken and off the hinges and in this next room it looks like everything in there has either been opened, destroyed, or uh, like ravaged. What about this desk? Um, that desk right there uh, looks like a little table. There's a there's a plate on it. it. Looks like maybe there was food on it at one point. What kind of footprints? Um, big footprints. What's going on? Big giant there? footprints. That went into the river. Mm-hmm. I noticed that like the like it like kind of. So, uh, there's a little, little bit, bit of a drop right there. The river is not very strong. Okay. Um, it looks it, it's moving, but it's not like rapids or anything. Um, and there, and you look through? over like to the right, and you see that there's like a slight like uh, it like descends a bit, um, and uh, okay. continues up uh, in 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 winds. Gotcha. Around. You said so. You said it's not moving very fast. Can I see like through the water? Is it clear? 
It's pretty clear. Is there anything of note there. that's like, is there anything of note where it's like, this is weird to see here type of thing? Like, uh, like no body parts, no, no <laughs> weirdness. Not really. There's blood right next to it. Okay. Not really. Um, I'll go back the way that I was. Okay, you go back. Maybe go down that way. Uh, when you walk past him again, are you going to Sahar? Mm-hmm. Just roll another stealth check. Well, I'll pretty much roll two, I guess. 20. Ooh. 17. You're both good. You walk your way back to Sahar. Um, maybe go back down, like, towards you. There's, like, that pathway. Oh, right down here? Um, it, it just loops around. Yeah. There's nothing really of interest in these in in those caves in there. Alright. I think happen. if we're gonna do anything with that person, we need to do it now before they bring the kid here. That's that's meta. Do I can't I can't do that. Do you think that the river's the okay. way out? You saw it. That I saw it's okay. it. Okay. I'd be kinda worried that like the way out is upstairs. Right. Or back the way we came. Jacob, I wanna go mm-hmm. over here again. Okay. The water is moving. Mm-hmm. You said it's not moving very fast. Yeah. So, like, could I walk through it? Like, how deep is it? It's like th- four feet deep. Okay, man, I'm six feet mm-hmm. tall. So, it might so a it's chest, a little bit difficult climbing up that next part of it. Though is going to require wait an a, athletics wait a, check. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a Since second. Since there's fl- floating disc. Oh. Uh, well, no, uh, the floating disc I couldn't set on it, but you guys could. Um, but when I was when. Uh, uh, Put Marcy to sleep and leaning her down into the into the bed. Call that Jacob's uh, ruptured disc. Oh, yes. yes. Minor conjuration. Yeah. A little boat. A little boat. A little boat. It can be no longer no larger than three feet on a side and no more than ten pounds. So it's like a, a little, little toy li- boat. Yeah, like a li- no, like a little like a little wooden like boat type thing that I could sit in. Three feet. It could be up to three feet on all sides. You, okay, I guess you could stand on it. Yeah, that's fine. A little raft. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's like this big. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Or you're even on a, sit on it. like. Sure, okay, you know. you're on a little, you're on one of those, um, you know those little boogie board things that yeah. you have at the pools? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. As a kid, you would dive all the way to the bottom and then let go so they would yeah, shoot to the top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 100%. you have one of those. Cool. I'll use that to kind of just like float down the river. You're going to float down? It flows this It goes this up, way. I see. Yeah. Which is why you said it had to be an athletics check. Okay. I understand now. I understand now. How how high up is it? Because you said the, the river is four feet. It kind of it, it's not like a flat wall. It kind of it kind of goes up like that. It's kind of like it inclines. You can try to climb it with an athletics check. Can I make a step stool? It, there's water. There's no really. You that's can put fair. it down. It's just gonna get hit by water and fall that's over. Fair, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. In the it. future, you could make a step stool. I mean, I have I have an athletic. I I, right. I have strength. I can. Just you guys look over, Anastasia's just like staring at water, making a boat, then a step stool, then she's like, mm, and then she steps forward and goes into the river. Can, can you do something to make yourself fly? I have to cast a spell. Do you want me to help you up? She looked at the alchemy jug on her back. <laughs> that <laughs> not even 30 <laughs> seconds ago, Caius was like, I can't carry this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can I, help you up. Okay. That'd probably right. work better. All right, cool. I'm going to... Okay, so no. you're both getting in the water, and you're going to try to, like, boost up Caius? Yeah. Okay, athletics check with advantage. Okay, maybe it won't work out bad. Uh, I'll be prepared to catch Caius in case he's getting ready to fall into the water. Athletics? I don't want yeah. to try to avoid as much. Uh, as 15. Possible. Okay, uh, yeah, you're good. You go to the next um, area in there. It's about five feet deep in here, um, mm-hmm. and you kind of have to wade through it. Um, you're gonna help up Anastasia? Yeah, I'll try. Okay, athletics check with advantage. So, how are you staying back there or are you following him? I think 30, she's just, she's just watching him. Okay. You watch yeah. him disappear into, like, beyond. The she's just gonna give it a moment. She's, with her perception, she's gonna wait to hear. Dirty 20. You like listening? Um, you, you go up. You hear splashing, but not much. Um, uh, it's very distant and faint. Yeah. Uh, then. Um, it's convenient that we're both Bate, six feet tall. Yeah. Bait looks at you and it's yeah. just. Uh, like Emma, I'm gonna switch it back. Um, <laughs> um, and Bait looks at you on and on. says, "Can I eat that hell giant?" Ah, uh, I mean, I would prefer that you did it when we are out of here. 
because uh, if you wake it up, wake up, I'm sure it's gonna wake up if you start to eat it. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt your ability to eat it. If your friends right. die in that water over there, can I eat them? I mean, um, if you promise not to eat the girl who's coming up here. The, oh, the kid? Yeah, the kid. I would never. Okay, you have to lie to me. Look, eat one kid, you eat them all. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to eat their dead bodies, if they die in the water. You can that's why I'm asking, can I eat their dead bodies? If you, right. you don't eat the kid. Oh, sure, deal. She goes over and waits by the water. <laughs> Do you know something about the water that I don't know? Hmm? Like, you just, you seem like you're sure they're gonna die. No, I just, I think there's some over here. I'm, I'm not really sure what, I've never been down here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe they might need help with it? Yeah, go help them. <laughs> it's a <like sugar>. yeah. <laughs> 17. She's kind of hoping you all die in there yeah. so she can eat your souls. She, But she doesn't seem like she's going to do anything no, to no, make no, sure no. you die. Right. She's like, I know where the secret lever is and I'm going to make the boulder roll down no, and you no, all no. die. She's just there like, no please yeah, go ahead. And this seems like an awful place If you come die. back, fine, but if you die, uh, yay. Yeah, she's a, have, you, have you seen anyone die though? Like come back down here? I see people die all the time. Like come back down the river though. <laughs> the river? I've never been to this river before. Okay. I, I know there's a river down here. I just don't know what it does. I love that. She's going to try, I guess. Okay, go. Roll athletics, athletics. check. Advantage, advantage rolls, both of you. Seven. Caius, you're first. Well, <laughs> you you get up one, yeah. and you're like, and you kind of slip, and she's like, oh, watch yeah. out. No, I oh. know, I know. You kind of slide down, you're in the water again, she's like, ooh, that could have been, been bad. That could have been. Yeah, you got close. Roll again. What'd you get? Seven. Okay, Caius, you slip. You almost slip down the rest of it. Anastasia grabs you and pulls you back up. Eleven. Okay, you get up to the next part. Fifteen. She's like, oh, there you go, nice. She doesn't do it gracefully. <laughs> what? Fifteen. Okay. You, uh, We're so, gonna try the other way around. Okay. Kai helps I'll you up, Kaius and then up. you help Kai up. Go ahead. Now Sahar's behind you, though. Oh, here. Now you go. Oh. oh okay. I'll help. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, much you're good. You're up, and Kai. Ten. There are two of us there pulling him up. Yeah. You guys make it into this next room. Oh, it is this nice. small cove. This cool. cove is alight with uh, not only glowing mushrooms, but veins of um, of Luspiel along the wall. Oh, um, it's a mine. It is uh, uh, an area oh, of this. A mine. This entire place is a mine that was taken over by the goblins. Oh. Um, and this, yeah, and they call it a mine. A, a mine. mine. Um, and in this area, you see a bunch of veins of it. It wasn't. It wasn't mined here. You also find. Um, a big pile of treasure that uh, that the hill giant kept uh, secretly away from all of the goblins. This is effectively four treasure chests. That's what we're gonna roll on right now. Um, can each of you, you know, Emma, can you come in here really quick? I need you to roll dice. Sick. Um, <clears throat> each of you roll 2d6 and 2d20 and record the results. Um, if you wanna use your coin to reroll any of them, you totally can. Emma, can you roll the same things? Can you sit right here, roll 2d20 and 2d6, record the results, and then hold on, and I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. Guys, Emma's here. There's a, there's a mic there, too, if you want it. All right, um, Colton, let's go with you first. Okay, what do you need from me first? Uh, <laughs> just 2d6. Uh, uh, two and four. Two and four, and your 2d20s? Seven and 16. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Gotta record that oh, number really fast. I'm gonna give you the gold. I'm gonna give you the gold cost at the end. I'm gonna give you the items first. What would you say? Daylight savings. And oh damn! Yeah, goes. that's right. <laughs> that sucks. Um, I'm gonna give you the gold at the end if that's cool. If I'm right. I know those dice are awesome. Okay, um, Anastasia, mm -hmm. you find. Um, two and four, you get a scroll, uh, two oh. scrolls, and a potion. The first scroll <clears throat> is... I love, I love these scrolls, man. You're welcome. I love having wizards. Are you sure about that? Um, can you give me a random number again, Mia? That's not 420. Uh, <laughs> two. 69? Oh, two? Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> oh no. What is it? What is it? Find a spell scroll. Uh huh. A tensor's floating disc. <laughs> okay. Huh? And the second cool. spell scroll is. Let me hang on one second. It's a spell scroll and a potion. Um, what were your numbers here? 16? Oh, this is going to be really good. Holy shit. Um, roll a d10. Two. A potion of cold resistance. Potion of cold resistance, okay. And a spell scroll of... Give me a random number, uh, Emma. Uh, 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 d d 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, and a spell scroll. Uh, you need to roll an arcana check to understand it. Dirty 20. Cool. Um, DC was 18. <coughs> so this is a spell oh. scroll of plant growth. Plant growth? Plant growth. Makes plants. Spell? Makes plants. Um, yeah. Grow real good. All right. Uh, plant, plant growth. Plant. plant. But you said it was ice resistance? Uh, cold resistance, yes. Cold resistance. Uh, Mia, what yes. were your 2d6? Uh, two and three. Two and three. And your 2d20s? Four and 18. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I can't actually cast this normally. Can, uh, no, can you, can I you let cast spell scrolls that aren't in your I let spell you. list? Okay. I let you do it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, then, uh, Sahar, yeah. you get a <laughs> spell scroll. That is such a sh shitty number. What? All normal plants in a 100 foot radius centered on that point become thick and overgrown. A creature moving through the area must spend four feet of movement for every one foot it moves. That's so annoying that it's not five feet for every one foot. It's four feet for it's every like, one foot. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> That's like, okay, I moved 28 feet after. <laughs> like, uh, cool. Uh, me a roll an arcana check. You find a scroll. You don't know what it is. What'd you get? I rolled a Wait, one. So a one! Yeah, well, so... you have a scroll, you don't know what it is, make sure you write that down. Perfect. Scroll, don't know what it is. Um, and then the second thing you find is, um, you got a three and an 18. Oh, you've got a... <gasps> no fucking way! You found something cool? What is it? What'd you get? It's immolation. <gasps> she appears. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> she's like, hey, babe. You, hey. I'm I not missed kidding. you. I, I said I, you died. I, mm -hmm. I, this, this is insane. I prepped these today in case you guys got them. Yeah. But um, I have three uh, magical weapons that I, I've uh, made myself that I made a while ago yeah. that are on here. And I have um, three of them. One of them is the Eyeless Vigilance. The one is, there's another one called Club of the Shepherd. And this one's called Gleaning Crescent. Oh, and that too. Um, Mia. Look at you. It's kind of a modified moon sickle. Hey, that sounds like a very Mia thing. That is thing. Yeah. really funny <laughs> you rolled that. <laughs> With moonlight. Look, all I'm saying is that I could be a werewolf. Could. What, what if I was? You can, can read that if you want, or, or you can keep it to yourself. Up to you. Uh, oh, okay. So. Words are etched <laughs> into the hilt, written in common. Our Lady in Silver denounces her lupine children, and by her guidance, an endless night we are freed. While holding this magic weapon, you gain plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with it. When you cast a spell that restores hit points, which I don't do. That's fine, though. Yeah. You it works with your healing hands. Hell yeah! You can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the amount of hit points restored, provided you are holding the sickle. When you attack with this weapon, you experience a harmless flash of pain. Oh. That's very cool. It just does it's that. It's very it's cool. It's a little quirky like that. A harmless flash of what? Pain. Pain. Pain? Pain. 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 Like window pain. pain. Yeah, Except like window pain cold. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's your 2d6? A 6 and a 5. 6 and 5, that's really good. And hey. your 2d20? A uh, 19 and a 6. Holy shit, dude. Hey, you got some good. You knew that obfuscate was a word, right? Uh, yes. All right, cool. <sighs> did you not know that was a word? No, I did. I Why did. are you asking me that? Because I used it in a sentence a few days ago at work, and nobody believed me that it was a real <laughs> word. And I, look, I Googled it, and I was like, look! <laughs> they were like, what? <laughs> okay, Caius. I like you that they're like, you just made up a word, man. <laughs> yeah, Why'd you do that? <laughs> oh my god, you you got, you, 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 19 and 6, uh -huh. that's an item, and you got really high up on this one. You have a crown of the Wrathbringer. What the? I got that? a crown? Yeah. That sounds like it should go to Cadman. Wrath. 
It's actually Crown of the Math Bringer. Ah, <laughs> I'm. This jagged iron circlet bears ornaments in the shape of an enemy of the enemy rune. So this is from uh, Glory of the Giants, um, the new book. When worn, the crown glows with a pale light as it draws upon the wearer's fury to strike down opponents with vicious terror. When you make an attack roll against a creature and hit it while wearing this crown, you can spend uh, you can spend and roll one of your unspent hit dice. The creature takes extra psychic damage equal to the number rolled, uh, number rolled, uh, invoking the rune. As an action, you can invoke the crown's rune to cast the fear spell with it. Um, the spell has a duration of one minute. It doesn't require concentration. Once you do it, you can't do it again until next dawn. Oh, yeah. Uh, for for the people that just joined, no, Emma is not playing cat. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, sorry. Let me let me transition to it. I apologize. <laughs> they're like um, they're like Emma still in Cadman. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah. a like father, like son. You mm -hmm. can spend your hit dice to do extra damage. Oh, that's boy. that's really funny. Yeah. Is that is that all that I find? Uh, no. That's that's the first item you find. Okay. And then the second thing you find, you got you a five and a six, yep. potion and a weapon. You find 20 silvered arrows oh. and a potion of healing. And then Emma, w roll 2d6 and 2d20. Um, I got a five and a five on the... A five and yep. a five. Yep, on the and then, sixes. And then uh, what was and the 2d20s? A nine and a three. Cool. Um... Emma, you find for the party uh, <laughs> uh, a potion, a weapon, and a potion, and a weapon. Two potions, two weapons. A potion, and a weapon, and a potion, <laughs> a potion and, and a weapon. weapon. Two, <laughs> two potions of healing. Oh, nice. And a plus one mace. Oh, and I'll go to Cadman. Right. And then a uh, a potion of healing and a great club. Oh, cool. Just, just a normal great <laughs> How club? Exciting. Not magical? <laughs> and a total of... Oh. Here's 912 gold pieces. Holy Gosh. crap. So that is uh, 912 split between four of us would be, what is that, 200, and then you have 112 left over. So 228 a piece? Yeah. Is that the, is that, did you do the? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I'm you guys rolled yeah. that right now. He's like, oh, that's 100 per person. <laughs> yeah, 912. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. 912. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. Cool. Thanks, Emma. Thank you, Emma. Yay! I rolled. Yeah, you did it. Now go make sure the stream doesn't explode. Okay. And de Thank depress you, that bag. <laughs> I don't know why it's such a small hole. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um... Did you write down the mace and the stuff? Oh, the gold. The gold. Are we leaving that here? There's uh, a mace, oh, no, no. two healing potions, and what? Uh, three healing potions total. Three healing potions, a plus one mace, and a great club. Oh, the scroll that Sahara got. I'm yeah. going to try to decide what it is. 22? Uh, it's vicious mockery. <laughs> great. You mind if I hold on to this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you Please don't go. want it? <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to cast spells. Uh, I know how to how to shoot radiant bolts. Up I am my holding fists. on to this until That's we true. get to the BBEG. I want you to know that oh. I'm going to kill the BBEG with a spell scroll of vicious mockery. You're going to give Zariel vicious mockery. Hell yeah! By the way, last cool night that. during Eberron, Spencer put a little smiley face on Z the back of Zariel's fucking head. Good, good. This I, um, this. Go ahead. No, no, I'm just saying I, I love Zariel, but sometimes she needs she needs to be humble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This flows down, right? Yeah. Do I, can I roll like survival to maybe figure out if this would lead out? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Uh, eighteen. No. No, we gotta go up. It might take you to the underdark. Let's oh. not do that. Oh shoot. Okay. Back up it is. And that's However, everything in here. There's no way. You, you do think yeah, that's a good enough roll. You you remember c walking up to Geaver's Bug, and you remember there was a like a pool of water mm -hmm. outside of it with a waterfall. That's right, that's right, yeah. You believe the water, you could follow the water up if you can like Breath of the Wild Zora armor up like water, but you could try no, to, you I could follow that. it if you want. Can you all I swim? Mean, if you guys are okay being carried, if it's getting us out of here, I'm okay with 
using some magic to fly. Uh, we've got three other people. D- if they get over here, then I'll carry them. Four other people. That's true. Hopefully it won't take too long. We could also go up. I could send Remy up, see what's going on up there. Oh, yes. Can he turn into something that isn't... Uh, the <laughs> weasel, weasel is very appropriate. He could turn into a frog. So just to let you know, right there, uh, that giant pool of water, Yeah. That's it drains out this way. Yeah. yeah. I see. There's like kind of like a small... It's kind of like a cracked wall, though. It drains out very slowly. Um, Remy could actually probably squeeze through. And then the thought wanted. process is if we can get through there, then that might be the way out. Yeah. Or is it the other way? No, because the other way goes down and possibly leads to the Underdark, yeah. which is I can bad s- end. I could send <laughs> Remy either way. Whatever you guys think would work the best. Nip in the Underdark. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I mean, that uh, seems like a good idea. I mean, yeah, it's, it's up to you. Um... I will admit it will be pretty hard to squeeze through that hole uh, for any of us besides uh, the weasel and the kid. All right, let's get back to past the uh, the giant and then. Yes, hopefully bait hasn't. uh, I think she's hoping we die. Anything up. And then our bodies come back. No, no, I think she's literally waiting. Oh, there's more stuff at the bottom of the pool for us to die. Can we? Can we? Can we talk before we go? Can we talk about this? What? We're not letting bait leave. Surely. Why not? Because the second that we... She's pretty powerful. I don't know that we can kill her in our current state. Especially without Cadman. I mean... What were all the heroics that you guys have shown this entire time? Uh, you, she she you? has made it very clear that she is willing to potentially she's, follow us and attempt to eat us in our sleep. She's opportunistic. There's more things to eat here than there is following us up and out. Right. You will also you fall over at a stiff breeze, my dear. Yes, yeah, so if I'm asleep... No, I'm saying like, she I'm looks at you sure. funny. Well, hmm. Question for you, <laughs> Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> what I've seen her do, she sucks out the soul? Is that what she's doing? You don't know. Okay. That's what she says. That's what she says. Mm-hmm. To be completely honest, yeah. um, I don't think I'm the one make in a, any danger. Make an arcana check. All right. Man, this is like, how many arcana checks do we have this game? 20? 24. 24, okay. Uh, yeah, she's, uh, so she's a Yugoloth. Um, a lot of demons, devils, creatures from lower planes, um, especially those demons, devils, Yugoloth yeah. slash demons, uh, do, do uh, have control over souls. Um, you know, devils use them as currency. Demons like to um, keep them or destroy them and eat them. Mm-hmm. Um, Yugoloths can kind of do both. Um, and you think it's fully within her capability to be eating souls. That's I guess a question it. for you then is this. Am I in danger? Hmm. That's that's that's. I gotta go bathroom. Uh, <laughs> 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 on the stack, on the stack. Yep. Give me just a Oops. second. Can we talk about this cool gleaming crescent that I got? So what is it? Has it? really what cool flavor text on it. Our Lady in Silver denounces her lupine children, and by her guidance, in, in this night we are freed. Now Mia has some what theories about this. She does. Um, mm-hmm. The question is like, is it actually by a follower of Saint Luna? Or is it someone who has been like I don't know, uh, corrupted in some way by the sister? Mm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, don't know. I don't know. Questions? Harmless flash of pain. What does that do? Harmless. Harmless. Yes. No. Oh. Um. You're not certain the how that would go down, but you don't think that it's impossible. This is a far worse fate, though, as your oh, soul is absolutely. destroyed. No, absolutely. Um, you do <clears throat> um, remember something, though. You think about Gehenna and Barghests, and you think about Yugoloths and their turns and why they sit in the middle. They tend to have really big weaknesses, almost all of them. And you think and you think. 
and you've been and you and you remember remember um, behaviors that uh, uh, bait has been um, showing throughout this uh, this entire uh, encounter in this fight. You remember something very specific. Nobody else noticed, and it links back to the, your knowledge of of a of a bar guest. You put down that flaming sphere. She she, she tried her hardest to not uh, show the fear she had of that flame. She stayed as far away from it as she could. I see. Okay. Look, I don't know how much I can say, uh, so if I just stop talking at any point, mm -hmm. um, oh, you understand. I'm so sorry. Yes. Right. Roll another Arcana check. The DC's really high, but I want to see... Uh, your conjuration wizard, you might get it. Yeah. You only, you only, you only, you only get it. You only get a shot at <laughs> once in a while with this, right? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. twenty-six. Okay. Anastasia, your mind is just, and you're thinking about every possible uh, uh, thing about the, you guys. Like we're in the middle of a conversation, and then Anastasia's just like thinking for a while. You are putting together I, magical theory with, with your knowledge of the planes, that of the weave, all combining together, and you like triangulate three things. You're like, if this is here, and if she has this, there's this thing with fire, Gehenna, with how portals work, you know that her body is, um, be, uh, from where she is, it's almost like a, it, it's a, it's a, it's a conjured weakness of these creatures, but one that they can't avoid within their very existence as acts as an anchor to Gehenna itself. Any conflagration, any flame upon uh, uh, a, a Barghest's body has the potential to summon a portal to Gehenna and immediately shunt them back. Okay. <clears throat> you, well, the way that you, you're like, it would have to, like, the fire would immediately immolate, uh, like create the spell. Like, in theory, to in your mind, she would be gone in an instant. Interesting. Okay. All right. A couple of, couple of things. Yes, you're correct. Um, <clears throat> while I am still getting used to the way things are now, uh, I do not do well with injury. However, I don't know if you've noticed, but I am incapable of dying, and she threatens that. I can't have that. I see. So it's purely selfish reasons. I mean, she threatens all of you, too, if she runs free. Sure, but I'm not worried she about her. She threatens the kid if she runs free. No, I'm not worried about that either. She's a glutton. There's so much food here. We can remove her from here and from us with one little step, a spark of flame. That's all it takes. Small, small Anything. note, small note. The, f the flames, yes, she's very flammable. The flames do have to get to a point where they encapsulate her body. A small spark won't do it. My sphere. But there you go. I don't know what happens if it doesn't work. I mean, and she's, very, she's very clearly waiting in. until the opportune time to turn on us anyway. Oh, for sure. So but you get the jump. If you're confident in yourself. If you don't strike first. You ask us to pick a fight with someone who is tougher than us in hopes that you're right about this. I know I'm right. No, I understand you think you're right. No, I know I'm right. I've seen enough people who are as arrogant, as cocky as you are, that turn sour, and the worst part about it isn't that they die, or get their soul ripped out. It's that they get everyone else killed. Okay, then I'm just asking that you don't get in my way. How about we get everyone out, we get the kid out, I'm sure she's going to follow us, because this place is probably going to be fucked, because we've killed everyone, right. or most of everyone. She's going to want to go back to that town we're going to, and then start over, be a humanoid. Look, humanoid. Start killing people for fun. If you think that you could kill her, just give us the opportunity to be able to run. So we're stuck down here. Let that kid run. I think that's fair. That's a lot of it. I don't want to be stuck somewhere where we have to fight. 
right, without any other opportunity. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be trapped with my back up against a cave wall. Let's get out first. Okay. The way back down will be more fun, right? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. who's catching who? You guys can easily go down. <laughs> um, it's easier to go down than up. It's like acrobatics it. going down. Are you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're all perfect at it. Um, do you want to send Remy through the water hole? No, I'm going to send Remy up. Through the water hole. Oh, like up the stairs? Yeah, invisibly. Okay. Got it. Um, he goes invisible, and uh, you want him to scout the way sort of up. Yes. Um, you gather back up with Bait, who, uh, as you guys get out of the water, he's like, Glad you're all alive. I'm sure you Nice to see you too, Bait. Well, let's not keep the gith waiting. Are we, uh, dealing with him? I don't really see much of a reason to. He was asleep. If you want to wait for us to go back this way, you can eat him then. No, well, you're free to stay and try yourself. We're better in numbers. Yes. You guys meet back up with your Geth. Do I find a little journal, maybe? A little diary around here somewhere? Not here. Not here? Uh, but when you, you find Ollie, um, Bronte, and um, I keep forgetting the kid's name. Why am I forgetting her name, too? I, it's her written out in my other notes. Is? Um, Silda? Silda. Silda. Um, she's fine. They're good. You guys gather up. Go over near those stairs. You send Remy upwards. Uh, Remy heads up to the second level. Uh, which I will show you here. Um, kind of scouts the area out. This place is almost entirely cleared out. Um, uh, news has spread pretty quickly that uh, the leaders are the that Uzran is dead. The other goblins are like, I, I don't want to do this anymore, and I've <laughs> kind of left. Some of them are gathering their things and heading out. For the most part, this entire place is clearing out. There's maybe one or two goblins you find that are like. I want no trouble and like and like leave. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they don't see Remy, so they, they don't mm-hmm. do anything. They just gather the things, and um, you can find a safe way out. Cool. However, while Remy's sort of searching around, there is a, an area over here. Um, here. Yeah. Uh, it looks like um, uh, sort of a pr- uh, the area where they all sleep. Oh. Um, this seems to be like uh, uh, like a living quarters of some kind. This area back here. Uh, but that one that I had just circled uh, is where Uzron um, would, um, what is his little living quarters? Like, they go under the door. You have Remy go under the door? Yeah. He goes under the door. Um, inside is... Uh, he doesn't uh, have thumbs, he can't open a door. <laughs> the weasel is able to s- slide under the locked door, which totally is locked. Uh, there is a treasure chest in here. <gasps> uh, and there is a, uh, there is a desk. Uh, there's, there's like an armor mounting, like, uh, uh, Kind of like a mannequin. Yeah. Um, his armor isn't there, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there is like a journal. You know, the weasel take it. Um, Probably in his mouth. He can't slide under the door with it. Can he turn back into an imp and unlock the door? <laughs> sure. Uh, he turns back into an imp, takes the um, takes the uh, uh, the book, uh, opens the door, um, and goes back towards you. He'll look at that treasure chest. Mm-hmm. No, we're going to open the treasure chest. What are the chances that it's trapped? He can roll a investigation check. What is a what is a weasel's? <laughs> a weasel's? He's an imp. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. It's on here somewhere. He's a weasel. Where's my He's extras? Uh, plus zero. Oh, 16 then. Does it look trapped? Mm-hmm. Roll 2d20 and 2d6. Oh, hell shit. Yeah. Remy's gonna, Remy's be, gonna be out. Yeah. Yeah. He comes <laughs> back. He's, he's got a chain. He's got the Gucci slides. Oh, uh, God. He's like, um, different tops. It's a. Uh, Anastasia. Which ones do you want first? The, <laughs> Does he um, sound like. I don't know. The, um, the, the 2D6. dude in the dirge? Like a 6 two. and a 3. Um, And the 2d20? An 18 and a 16. Who? Cool. Um, 71 gold pieces, and he finds, uh, oh my lord. (laughs) 
What did he find? Hang on. Find the pork this pork is pork. silly. He finds one of the, the magic items oh. that I picked out. Uh, it is plate armor. Oh. There is plate armor in there. It's magical, <laughs> but you don't. Know, he doesn't know what kind of magic it is. Um, uh, but his magical plate armor. This man really likes his armor. Yeah. And uh, he was waiting. Three and sixteen. Chosen. Three and sixteen is uh, roll a d10. Wait, no, I got an eighteen and a sixteen for the d20. I know it was it was six and oh, eighteen, and then okay. three and sixteen. Yeah. Um, three sixteen is a, a weapon, uh, which is sorry. Don't roll a d10. Um, you found one of the, the weapons I created, which oh. is uh, not one of the super magical ones. It's just, uh, it's a weapon that has other weapon actions. This oh. is a long bladed rapier that is also in here. Uh, this is a, a unique rapier with a very long blade that has cleave and reach. A rapier with reach? It's like Sephiroth's sword. That's insane on a rogue. Yeah. Well, I'm actually a rogue. Yeah. Can I sneak attack? <laughs> Just for fun? Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking key points with immolation all over um, again. I'm going to sneak attack bait is what I'm about to do. Because Kai's can see through his eyes, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, there's some crazy armor and sword in there. Do we think Cadman would be interested? It's, have you seen Cadman with anything? It's very nice. Yes, that's true. How hard is it to get there? She has They're clearing lot. out. I don't that think anyone fair. will give us trouble. We could we could keep it for Assuming her. Assuming we don't run into the hill giant, there's no reason not to. Well, he's taking his nap still. Yes. All right, you guys walking over there? Yeah. You make it over there. Um, you. You die. Uh, you've got the rapier and you've got the gold and uh, the sword. And, uh, the, and, and the plate. Sorry. Can you I roll the rapier and the, and the plate? Can I roll Arcana checks just to decipher what that? Uh, the rapier is magical, but the plate is. You can go ahead and roll on that. And I'll take that journal. Can I? Get What's up? The journal. You've got the journal. Um, I'm going to... I'll read that to you in just uh, a second. 17. Um, this is a plate of Knight's Fellowship. This is from the Book of Many Things. Um, oh. The gleaming set of silver and gold plate armor never tarnishes. While wearing this armor, you can use a bonus action to summon the spirit of a warrior to your aid. The spirit's corporeal form manifests in an unoccupied space of your choice within 30 feet of you and uses the Knight stat block. The spirit disappears when it drops to zero hit points and after one minute, whichever comes first. It's an the ally. Knight you can control stat. it with your bonus action. Oh, it doesn't require actions. You can just control it. Um, and then once you use it, you can't do it again until the next dawn. The knight stat block? That's insane. Yeah, it, the knight stat block has like uh, 52 hit points. Yeah. Could you send me the name of that? Because that's 100% that's for Cadman, right? Like when, when we find them. Yeah. Anybody can wear plate armor. I, I totally if you don't cast spells. Yeah. yeah. It's oh, not like God. I want, you know, unarmored movement or anything. It's just like becoming rooted, all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's how I that's how I fix Anastasia dying at the slightest breeze. I take heavy armor mastery. Yeah. Uh, with my feet. All right. Thank you. Um, um can I can I ask real quick? I know that yeah. we were here, but before we had gotten here, when we went back to get the kid, could we've gone to the kitchen real quick? Yeah. Um, can I look for any additional water skins? Mm. Yes, you find uh, uh, 2d10 water skins. Okay. Oh, cool. I mean... Filled or... Uh, I mean, we could probably get water in town. There's also the... The, the river. The Whatever river. your... Uh, what's the leftmost d10? Know. What was the result on that? This one? Yeah. Five. That's your right, but that's fine. Five, and what um, was the other one? This was eight. Eight? Okay, you find five water skins yeah. that are filled and eight that are not. Perfect. I mean, five filled <laughs> ones is enough for water for a day. There you go. Which will get us to The water. journal. Um, I don't have a full journal layout for you here. Um, there is, uh, I, I have a thing for this. So, mm -hmm. uh, there's an entry that, I, that I'm, I'll read to you. Um, and then you can also, uh, additionally, uh, you can read the journal and gain the answer to two questions that are kind of about this place, Uzran, generally related, uh, if you want to ask them. Um, this entry that you sort of find reads, My armor and weapons are complete. None can stand against me. Maglubba yet save my rancid soul. This lord of feasts, this ever-hungry one, leads us to bountiful horizons. This foul and negligible pack of goblins will soon become a cord d'urbaluk, with me as its dark wrath. I've only ever served you, Maglubba yet. I have no intention of bowing to this prince, nor to Raish, his lackey. Gump grows more and more witless after every swallow of his gullet. 
He'll take orders from me soon. It's only a matter of time. Hmm. And then if you want to ask any two questions, you can. Mm. Who is Raish? Um, there's an entry within the in the journal that describes Raish. He is an elven, he's a pale elven man with um, so, uh, with uh, uh, short reddish hair. Um, he uh, uh, has scars, um, his body sort of mutilated. He has these, uh, uh, these like blood red eyes um, and he is what brought the influence of Yanagu to this place. Um, he gave everybody the eye. Mm -hmm. He gave something like a, a type of food to, um, the, uh, to Gump, the hill giant, that sort of made him ravenous for constant food. Mm. Uh, and um, is the reason why Yanagu's influence is even here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about Caius in this? There is a, this is your last question. Yes, sir. Uh, he details a dream that he has where he's in the throne room there is a, uh, an elf named Caius that he finds and he like slaughters and he becomes like y Yanagu's champion. <clears throat> All right, time to leave? Yep, um, Sahara's going to fill the eight unfilled with you got this water. Yep, it's fresh drinking water. You oh, do perfect. so. You have a lot of water skins now. Um, they're pretty heavy, but um, you can give them out to your fellow companions. Irisketh is like, I, I will carry a bunch of them. Oh my god! Speaking of Irisketh. <laughs> Quick retcon! Dragon egg! Oh my egg. god! The dragon egg was in the uh, treasure chest. You want know something really perfect. funny? I specifically asked if the egg was there, and you said no. Dude. Brain. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm so sorry. No, that, I haven't written down. It's you're, in there. You're all good. Oh. I was specifically like, so dragon eggs there. Yeah. Let's go back like, a little bit. In that treasure room, yeah. there was a. Uh, all the treasure chests were in there, yep. and there is this. Uh, this, like scaled, um, gleaming orange, hot to the touch, red egg. It's maybe about this big, um, and so nice. um, yeah, it's pretty warm. You give it to Irisketh, and he uh, very. He, he's very urgent, but takes it very gently as he holds it. You are owed. You helped out enough, I think. Yeah. You fought by your side, kept us alive, kept watch. Only called me an idiot once. Yeah. If anything, <laughs> should we run into each other again, consider us allies. Yes. I agree. It's an honor to fight by your side. Perhaps when you more, have more experience, I will say the same to you. I, I look forward to that day. Yeah. May we meet again. You guys yeah. make it to the exit of the cave. Yeah. You, um, it's daytime. Um, you Ugh. and the sun. Bronte, Erisketh, um, and, uh, uh, Silda and the three of you and, and, and Bait make it to the exit. You see the, the gate to Geaverspug open, some goblins running for the hills, <laughs> except for one. One in finery, holding a menu, who opens a door, turns, sees you, Anastasia, and goes, You! I wouldn't if I were you. He looks around, clearly outnumbered. You tricked me! I did? Why? It's, it's quite easy. <laughs> well, you guys should be mean about it. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh... I would leave. <clears throat> did, you, uh, did you enjoy the food? <laughs> All right. And he, he runs off. <laughs> All right. It would have been quicker to kill him. Yeah. Save our energy. Um, you guys are back out into uh, the, the fanged um, valley with uh, uh, the sun rising in the distance as it's now just the morning. Um, prepared to uh, uh, move on to your next mission. That is where we'll end tonight's game. I don't know what to do with me. Oh, not now.
Next time. You gotta do it now. <laughs> right. Unless you're gonna drop a flaming sphere on her right now. I'm thinking about it. Just ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just push push the kid behind me and we'll, we'll figure it out next uh, time. Um, thank you guys so much for joining tonight. Thank you for all your donations. Um, thank you for uh, joining us on members and on Patreon. Yes. You guys yeah, are um, awesome. Very yeah. sweet. It's, Seriously. Very sweet. There's gonna be some new changes coming up here pretty soon. Maybe new sound system. We'll see. But um, you guys are, uh, we appreciate all of you so much. Um, the portal was very wacky today. Um, but you guys finally got that 12 pack of health yes. potions. Oh, that, hell yeah. That's, that, that was worth it. So uh, the Nilbog stole the egg. Oh, of course. That was exactly it. Oh, and Ollie. Thank you. Ollie's also here. Yeah. Did forget Ollie. Yeah. No, He's here I as well. Totally yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's do, like, we no! get, do we get gold stars for making it out? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you all get one. Yay. Yeah, you get one gold star. <laughs> Take that, Cadman. Sorry, Cadman. Oh, he gave you gold star for giving him food, by the way. Oh, perfect. He got yeah, that tea yeah, and yeah. that I got, crumpet or whatever. I didn't get a gold star. This is going to be the the uh, the motivation for Anastasia to become a better person. Wow. Um, yeah. Gold star. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, pa there's going to be Z uh, Majora's Mask tomorrow. It's yes. the last episode of Majora's Mask, and next week is fucking Wind Waker, y'all. Yes. Um, unfortunately, it is the last episode of Majora's Mask, and also Mia's at the bottom of a well for the audio of the episode. No arfs. No um, arfs. Podcast next week. We played a funny game. That was yep. a good time. And then uh, Strixhaven next week. Man, oh. we do a lot here. God. Uh, Hope you guys like us. Uh, tired. Thanks for joining. And then Spelljammer after that, and right? Redline. All right. Yeah. See you guys next Bye. time. Bye.